face right there. Baby face, jazz hands. Woo. Mike, jazz hands. There we go. Check this out. Patrick R. Woo. Rudolph the Patrick R. There you go. No jazz hands? Right now. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Jazz hands. We are live. We are live. I hope you got your big girl Christmas panties on because we are live. This is the final episode for this year. We're live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. This is the Who Move My Freedom podcast, episode 115. Ho, 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 bitches. Man, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> What's going on? What's up, everyone? Hey. Was we had some echo coming see, from somebody. Yeah, I'm not sure who's echoing. It's definitely not. Oh wait, me. no, no, no. I'm echoing. It's coming Yo. from my own headset. Yeah. Show okay. The so they show the light. So they. Oh, Lola wants me to put on the light. There you put go. Put on the lights. Put on the lights. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> and the lights are lighting up it's for safety. That's totally for safety. I don't know if you guys. Yeah, I think you could see that a little bit. The uh, antlers are kind of like. Oh, I just broke them. Okay. So there you go. All right, so we are live. This is the Christmas party episode. As you can see, everyone's pretty pretty much dressed up and ready for the Christmas party, except Mike. He's our Christmas Grinch tonight. There we yeah. go. We, ha we have to have the contrarian. So Mike Woodland, MW Tactical, he is the Christmas Grinch. And you guys can uh, feel free to uh, let Mike know your sentiments. <laughs> Whether you support that or not, there you go. And we'll talk to him about it. And so we got Babyface is getting drunk. He is playing. He's a hobo Christmas. Babyface is the hobo drink, Christmas. I'll drink my beer. Yeah, he's drinking his beer. He's got a Christmas blanket. This is his idea. He's got lights in the background, Christmas uh, lights. Beer, you're drunk for a dollar. Isn't really yeah. made up to the hobo level of decoration you got going on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So hold on, let's see. Hold on, I got to turn your microphone up a little bit, Patrick. Let's see, it's down a little low. Okay. Don't do that. Don't do it. okay, there we go. All right. So and like I said, we got we got Mike Woodland. Uh, Mike, what's up? What you know? Why are you a Christmas Grinch, man? Man, I really can't stand this time of the year. What? Come on, man! It's too much money being spent for what wow. reason? So you're one of those dudes that drops your girlfriends like in November, <laughs> so you don't have to pick it back up in January. Man, <laughs> man, come on, now I'm all about that. Save that dollar, more bullets. Oh well, oh. <laughs> well, okay. We can't, we can't argue with that. We can't argue with that. <laughs> yeah. so. So now the only one I say that Patrick Roberts gets the prize of having the true Christmas spirit. With a Christmas tree. Yeah, look at that. Like a beautiful tree. He's got yeah. he's got stockings on the yeah. fireplace. Oh, he's man. got a little baby playing in the background. Yeah, I got an angry baby there. He's watching. Yeah. yeah. This is you you you're doing awesomely, man. You're making you're putting the rest of us to shame. I, well, you know, I have to. You got to. Yeah. Oh, your son. Oh, he's. Oh, he is going crazy. Uh, I can see him yeah. tearing up that bouncy. Uh, that bouncy oh, dude, he gets going. Yeah. So oh, awesome. Yeah. We've got Patrick R in here. Actually, the whole title and everything other than Christmas party. This is the um, uh, the <laughs> honor guard uh, handgun, not drop safe. So we asked Patrick to. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick. I don't know how Patrick, what is your problem? You're always discovering something's not drop safe. Oh, that's that's your that's your thing, Patrick? Really? Was yep. the was the P three twenty yours? Yes, yeah, that oh. was his name. No, but I got the latest one, the, the Yeah, that's his too. Yeah, the honor guard is also his. You are just you you're just you know, making safety of a hammer. Don't don't pretend. Put on things, see what happens. Where yeah. the heck did that go? Oh, where are you? Are you there? No, I'm here. I think I'm here. Yeah, you're yeah, here. You're here. You're here. Yeah. yeah, so I was, I was just saying that you've started more trouble with this honor guard stuff. Plus, you're calling them out. Yeah. Like, oh, man. Well, yeah, absolutely I am. Uh, so, yeah, I, I approached honor guard uh, back in early August. And for whatever reason, they saw fit to go to TFB's editors and tell them that uh, I had threatened oh. them. And uh, TFB said, you can't blog, blog, or do anything to do with honor defense. Um, so until now, I haven't been able to really talk about it. So, uh, uh, so that's the reason why you got the... It real. Yeah, yeah. Good question, Walter. Go ahead. Say that again. Is that the reason you got the, the, the parting the ways with the firearms blog? It was part of it. That, <laughs> there was that, and there was more to it. Okay. 
Okay, and so obviously what it seems like to me is they're not keeping it real. I did check. Uh, I'm going to go back and check right now, but I checked with them, and um, they are not running any articles on this. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> they are not. Uh, I mean, not in, not this. In, in that in that video, they, if you know somebody wants to drop that into the comments, um, like I've got a screenshot of a text message from the editor in chief over there at the firearm blog telling me that he is disappointed and he is furious is what it says. It's something like that. It's some bullshit that I don't remember what it was. Um, somebody in the chat is going to get angry about me cussing in front of my kid. I know it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me see. I'll, let me try to pull this up. So yeah, you showed a text message that you were sent where you were pretty much uh, ordered to not, uh, to not release this news, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, let me find my phone. Let me see. Because I had to it to like here. 16 uh, different people that You guys can tell me if that, I just put a link in there so you guys can go check that out. Open it up in another window. When you go over there, make sure you're subscribing to Patrick. Yeah, you know you just posted that in the Hangout and not the. Uh, no, okay. I posted it in both. There we go. Yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's you know like i'll show everybody on my phone here um that is like where he says you're not allowed to blog vlog or anything to do with honor defense and what is the name of this editor uh that would have been uh paul and like so i looked into like privacy guidelines on youtube i can say his first name but if i say his last name on my channel or i have anything that shows his last name uh, whether it's his real or his assumed name, they can pull that down for like privacy breach. Okay. So um, I've been like keeping that to myself. If you want me to tell you what it is, I'll be glad to. I don't care. I got nothing to hide. Uh, but uh, no, I mean I think people could figure it out from there. Yeah. So basically, uh, so what was the you know what was the reason that they were trying to stifle this news? Did they have some kind of uh, advertising yeah. or something going with honor guard yeah. what's the reason here that's the fun thing is at the time that i brought this to everyone's attention um like honor defense was not an advertiser they they currently aren't as far as i'm aware uh but the thing is and like you guys that are in this media thing and that's the, the bigger conversation a lot of guys will overlook issues or not talk about something to make sure that they get that hot gun that that particular pr agency might be handling so we don't know if Honor Defense is going to bring out like the next Hudson H9. What, you know, like so, if you upset them, you're not going to so, get that gun. You don't get the content. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that <laughs> happens. I mean, you know, I think, and I saw that you said this in your video, and this is what I try to do. I think everyone else can chime in here. Walter is a manufacturer, so he could chime in from his point of view. And we are going to get to like all the Christmas stuff and shouting out everyone, but I think we've got Patrick R here for for at least uh, you know, for a little bit of time that we could talk to him about it. But what I do is, if there's a problem, I try to talk to the company first and you know give them a chance to do something about it and if they shut me down though you're now you know you have i think some kind of responsibility to the folks out there that would buy this gun and maybe even in this case you know hurt themselves with it so you have to balance that well you would you would think just a liability factor would make them you know do whatever they gotta do to make it fixed or do something i mean you don't yeah, and I hate to have somebody fall down accidentally and kill themselves. So, did did you bring it to Honor Defense's? Uh, did you like call them up and let them know that there was an issue? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, and I want to get to that. Uh, so, everyone's saying they haven't heard of Honor Defense. Honor Defense produces a single stack nine millimeter. Give me one second. Can you put a safe tan pistol on the shelf in the, in the rack, please. Um, sorry, I'm having my wife bring me the gun so I can keep talking. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Honor Defense produces a single stack pistol. Internally, it's very, very similar to the P320. Externally, it looks a whole lot like the MP Shield uh, Gen 1. They use the same holsters. It like uses Glock 43 sights, and it's got a couple of other uh, like features shared with other popular pistols in the market. Now, uh, let's see. Babyface asked me if I brought it up to Honor Defense, and absolutely, 100% did. Uh, I actually called Gary Ramey. 
uh, the president of Honor Defense, who I've had a lot of really great conversations with over the years uh, that, I, that I've known him. Um, and uh, thank you. The, um, the response was to ignore my phone call, which is fine. He was at a show at the time I called him. It was August 11th, mind you. This is uh, a long time, man. This is a yeah. I mean, we're yeah, yeah. we're in December right now. We're we're pat, we're like what December twentieth, yes, nineteenth. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Either one doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I called him August eleventh and uh, sent him a, a text message right after he didn't pick up. Said, hey, um, let me let me pull it up. So I, I want to make sure. Um, Screaming Skull Saloon. We'll get to the P ten C in a little bit. Because I broke that too. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna make sure. I want to make sure that I don't. Uh... Yeah. And while you while you're pulling that up, listen. I want to remind everyone. Please click the thumbs ups. Okay. Come on. I'm wearing a wool mask on my face. Yes. That deserve thumbs ups right there. Everyone's dressed up for Christmas except this guy. Uh, Hank, I think you're scaring people away. That's why we're not. <laughs> oh, that's cold. That's I'm just gonna cold. throw it out there. They don't know. They're like, "Where's Hank Strange? He's not on the show." When I first, when I first saw him, I recoiled in, in fear. That's oh, thank you, Walter. Thank uh, you. It's kind of a shame that they didn't uh, that they didn't jump on this as an opportunity to make themselves look good because the gun itself, from what I'm looking at their website, is kind of neat looking. I kind of like it. Yeah. Uh, it's it looks, like a single stack P320. I saw you yeah, saw it's, the video. It's but, yeah, it's interesting. Basically, yeah. that's what it is, more or less. But there, it, it looks really great in pictures. When you start looking at it from a practical point of view, you start seeing giant holes in their design philosophy. But they're like, I've got one right here. I've got the one that I built, the one that failed. Um, yeah, you can see all of the wonderful like. And the, and so you're saying that you built it, and I think you addressed this in the video. But how do we know that it's not failing because you built it? Yeah. Uh, the Truth About Guns uh, conducted a test on their pistol that is in the 9,000 serial number range, and it exhibits the same problem as mine does. And they're able to get it to do the uh, to fail the hammer test at like a much lighter impact than I'm able to. So like wow. their gun is more susceptible to it. Uh, uh, Jeremy yeah. posted a video on uh, YouTube, and I know that he confirmed it on uh, the Truth About Guns website as well. Um, anyway, yeah, no, I brought it to Gary's attention. Gary Ramey is the president of Honor Defense. I sent him a uh, text message just after I called him on August 11th at 4.02 uh, p.m. And then this is when I sent him the text. The text I said uh, sent him was, Gary, please give me a call. I'd like to talk with you about the Honor Guard before I pass, before I either pass the story on or publish. I'm not able to hold the story for too long. It's rather urgent. And the purpose for that was to let him know what I had found, speak with him, get a comment maybe, um, and then try to see if there's something he can think of as to how to fix that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and he, like I said, his response was to call uh, one of the editorial staff members at the Firearm blog, uh, tell them that I had threatened the company or him, something like that, at which point I got the phone call. And so that's where you got that cross the line thing? Yes, yeah. Okay. Um, and what do you feel about this? Do you feel like they knew this already? Because I think if I had a company and someone was trying to bring this to my attention, I would immediately try to test a whole bunch of these things, unless I already knew that this was out there. What I haven't gotten to and like really haven't laid out there quite yet and uh, is going to be, uh, all right, the range one, we're going to stop, put a period, uh, put a pin in that. Uh, the Super POS with the uh, Such shield like a mofo. So I spoke with Such a week ago about this. Uh, he he was the one that encouraged me to hammer test this thing on it on camera. He was the one that encouraged me to drop it on camera. I spoke with him earlier today. He's very very concerned because his daughter had one in, his, in her car and carry gun. Uh, he is 100% concerned about his viewers and doesn't give a crap about uh, whether or not he sells another branded Such pistol or not. He believed in it. Gary Ramey's a nice dude and will absolutely like sweet talk you to death. Such mm -hmm. partnered up with him on, on something he believed in. And like for the longest time, like I thought it was a safe gun. I just didn't realize that, that there were like large issues. Wow. Okay. I didn't even realize that Such actually put his name on this. Thing. I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know he had to put his name on one of them. Okay. I mean, and what makes you think that Such, you know, uh, regardless of whatever people want to say about him, wants to have a gun out there with his name on it that that could potentially, you know, um, be harmful to people? He would. Why would he want to have that? 
Well, I don't. I don't think the point yeah, is that he wants to have that. The yeah, point of course is not. He yeah. Pass anything. Suits huh. just passes everything along. <laughs> um, no, no, it doesn't. Like, um, like we had a, we had an extended conversation about it when I was in Glock, um, about you know like T and E in, inside the industry and like what kind of things we do. Um, like he tries to not pass his stuff off as like comprehensive reviews and relies on a bunch of experience as a shooter to make determinations within a shorter round period than I'm willing to do. And it's all personal comfort. So like, he's not doing anything wrong and he has absolutely called stuff out for being crap. Uh, this is just something that wouldn't come up in normal testing. And like, I never would have known had I not been aware of the P320 problem. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we can, yeah, and, and by oh, yeah. the way, no, like I see the direction we're going here. We could totally have that thing at another time. I mean, what I wanted to do was act, was give uh, Patrick a chance to talk here about yeah. the uh, honor guard and what's I just, going on. What I want to do is I want to stop any, like, you know, shit throwing at other YouTubers who might have given this a good review or other, you know, bloggers or point guys might have given the honor defense, honor guard a good review because I didn't know about it. I did a written review, I did a tour of their factory, I did a piece where I built the gun, and then I did a video review, and at no point during those four pieces did I know that this thing wasn't drop safe. So how did you find so, out? Well, so when the P320 thing happened back in August, when, when we found out that that wasn't drop safe, which, by the way, is another thing that they tried to gag me on at the, at the Firearm blog, they, they tried to get me to, to drop that several times. Like, I had been aware of a drop safety issue with the P320, since April mm -hmm. and like hadn't been able to prove it with hard fact. Like I had a, um, an off record comment from somebody within uh, a company that I don't, I'm not willing to get into that like indicated to me that this was a real possibility, but nothing that I could take to people and say, look, man, like this thing is not fucking safe. Don't carry it, you know, until Omaha authorities figured out what to do. Um, so, I think that's for Liam. Um, now, like, whenever the P320 thing happened, I went to my safe and I pulled out every single gun I own, every single handgun that I own, uh, and to include ones that I had re for review. Um, the power of the <laughs> Patreon channel, Tim, is calling me right now. Uh, give me oh, a joke. Yeah, go ahead. Take that. Okay, go ahead and do that. We'll take a little break from this. We'll definitely come back. Yeah. Yeah, because I know I know that, you know, go ahead and take that call. Uh, mute it, probably. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Okay, listen, we are going to get a little deeper into this. Um, I know we're planning the Christmas party here, but I wanted to give Patrick our chance to talk about this since this is our last episode, and this is literally, like, breaking Hot off um, the presses. Yeah, I found out about it yesterday, but I found out so late, I think while we were on the show, that I really wasn't able to do anything. So, um, you know, okay, Walter, I forgot to introduce you. So here we go. Walter, I don't know what That's you are. That's the thanks I get. <laughs> All right, I wrap myself in electricity, 110 <laughs> volts, just for you, Hank Strange. You put your <laughs> life on the line. <laughs> I, I'm sitting in Sparky's mitts here. And I don't get no okay. Well, I, okay. No I respect. Apologize. Like, like Ronnie, Ronnie all, no respect. It's all Babyface's fault. Oh, okay. whoa, whoa! <laughs> it's all Patrick's fault. No, no, my fault at all. <laughs> this is for Patrick. Patrick, <laughs> do you have your cup? Did you get your cup? Oh gosh, there we go. Here we uh, go with the teacups. This you is know, serious. and everyone remembers that you are an Anglophile. Walter. Uh, I don't even want to tell so, you what I've been so watching you, on TV either. So you sent us, you sent us all the teacups. I yeah, guess you want us. Here, Mike doesn't have up? one, guys, but because I'm the Grinch. Because <laughs> Mike's the Grinch. <laughs> yeah. There's Babyface with his teacup. Uh, this is when you have to be proper on the show. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. We'll bring up the teacups. Yeah. When we talk. So let's go through real quick while Patrick is doing that. I want to shout out everyone. Thank everyone for coming in here. We've got over a hundred people. I don't know what. The, someone tell me how many thumbs ups we have. Please anyway. click the thumbs ups. If you hate us, thumbs down it. If you hate my get up today, let me see if I could do the. I'll do. Look at that. You got a thumbs up. Look at that. That's just freaking awesome. Horns up. That's like for the safety of the deer, so you don't kill the black baby Jesus reindeer. That's who <laughs> I am playing. The my character today is the black baby <laughs> Jesus reindeer. Where's the macaque? 
You gotta watch out. Those macaques are gonna come get you. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna monkey face me. <laughs> so there you go. So listen, let's sh let's shout out people really quick. I want to thank everyone for coming in. Please click the thumbs ups. Share this video. If you don't know what to um, to post when you're sharing, go look up. I've shared it. I think Patrick shared it. Uh, Mike shared it. Right, Mike. Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, Walter. Oh, I, wait, wait, wait. Sharing, okay. Walter. I'll work on it. I'll yeah. work on it. And Sorry. everyone, make sure you thumbs up. Go thumbs up this video. So the easy way to do it, like for, I'm talking about the folks on the panel right now, like go and thumbs up the video and let everyone know that we're on. So let me shout out, let's see, Jason Abrams, Abramson. It's very difficult to talk in this thing. Oh, you look good, you sound good. Yeah, okay, Jason, I don't know how long I'm gonna do this. My face is probably gonna get like a massive rash. The black baby um, Jesus. Yeah, Boy, Jason Abramson, <laughs> uh, Cody Phillips, Scott Kimball, Warsaw Patriot, what's Jesus. going on? Kentucky Firearms Network, Opt Out of Gun Control, Cody Phil, uh, I think I said yes. Cody Phillips, Chris Illod, mm -hmm. Laird uh, Cummings, Gorillas and Guns, uh, Recall Junkie 1981, Screaming Skull Saloon, Vanessa Kitty, uh, Meredith's Mayhem, LB Louis Cipher, The Archangel, um, let's see who else, Brady, uh, Brady, the one and only, what's going on? Um, We've also got uh, Chris, who is this? Uh, I'm going through here. Chad N as well. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Chris B, Chad Patrick. We got lots of Chads. The Tyvin Show is in here. Tyvin. Curtis West. Uh, I think I said Chris Bullis, but we'll say it again. Um, you know, no problem with that. Saying it twice. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to go through. Michael Bender. And Jackson Oldman is also in the building. In the house. Jackson Oldman, Tim, not Tim. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's Lola. I didn't mean to send that to you. David B. Kills, Matt Morse. What are you sending, Lola? I was supposed to send that to the world, and it went to Miss, uh -oh. Miss Strange. So. Okay, there you go. Jumpy Killer QX as well. Matt Morse, uh, Monty Big Boar. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. That, that's a good name. Rock Humper, uh, N2O2HE. So I'm not even I'm probably not even pronouncing. Tim Nottam, I will be no ranting tonight on my yeah. part. It's peace tonight. Yeah. World Justin e. e. Justin World. E. Also in here. Um, the range one as well. And let's see who else we've got in here. That makes sure. uh, Philo. What's going on, Philo? World peace tonight. Yes. Uh, Carolina Prepper is also in here with us. Almost like if I was in. Blazing twelve twelve. You're saying you're not going to rant. I guarantee, I guarantee you that Walter's not going to keep to that promise. <laughs> Something will come up and Walter will rant. I promise you to not. I'll be very proper. You say? Holy crap. He put on a British accent as well. David Bloody Walters hell, gave I us did. two bucks. <laughs> I got a hashtag bar humbug on that. Bar humbug. Yeah, he, 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 uh, he rock. Uh, Thomas Coppersmith. There you oh. go. Okay, imposter. So uh, shout out to everyone who's in here. Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas and a happy new year to everyone that's watching the show right now. All the folks in the chat, make sure you uh, share this video. Make sure you thumbs ups. How many thumbs ups do we have right now? Let's get the thumbs up squad going. Uh, Lola says do hashtag jazz hands, hashtag tag big girl panties, hashtag cow cocky. <laughs> it's not cow cocky, Lola. <laughs> It's cow khaki with it. It's got khaki, K's in it. You know cow khaki. Uh, hashtag who moved my freedom. Hashtag strangeaholics. Hashtag Burl. Burl. You know, um, just on and on. Whatever hashtags you want to do, go ahead and throw those in there. Uh, Scott Kimball says we have 95. Come on, we could we could get it up. Also, check this out, Walter. You yes, see, sir. I gave Walter a, uh, a a shirt the other day. This oh. is the this is the hashtag drain the swamp. I'm wearing a. I'm it's wearing a, a Gator, and it's freedom. got the American flag. Some people probably will not be super happy about that. But I'm wearing a Force from Freedom Christmas tree with guns shirt. Oh, look at you! You got the. Oh, you got the Christmas. We ordered tree. it. We ordered it that night that we were talking about it on the show. Oh, that's badass! Oh, I yeah. did. Did I even see that one? I don't know. That is nice. Okay, but I got nice. We may hey. get Sam to come on later. What's that, Mike? What do you want to say? Yeah, I was going to ask. Um, just wanted to ask a question. Um, the situation that um. Patrick was talking about. Can you like enlighten me on what's going on? Because I have no idea what's going on. We we in her, we in her pants. We in her pants. Yeah, I, I can go for that one also. But um, I'll call <laughs> you something different. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, 
Yeah, I just got a phone with uh, Tim over at Military Arms Channel. Uh, I'm going to be forwarding him a link to this. He's going to see if he can jump in and uh, chat oh, with us okay. too. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So send him. Just send, yeah, to, send him the link. It'll be great to get him to come on. Um, let me see if I can send him the link. Okay. So I think Mike wants a recap on what's going on here. Um, who wants to run that down, Patrick? I can do that. Yeah. Uh, so. I forget where I'm not quite sure where I left off. Uh, I have so, no idea. I'll, 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 here, I'll start over. Recap. <laughs> a recap. Back in summertime, the uh, uh, Patrick R discovered that the P320 was not drop safe. So you drop the gun at an angle on the back, it fires. Yeah, negative, negative yep. thirty degree angle. Yeah, and it it blew up all over the internet. Blew up. They had to do a massive, massive sig. Had to do a huge recall. Police forces, uh, police department sent a bunch of their guns back in. They had to fix a bunch of stuff. Um, big, big deal. Uh, so today, uh, Patrick put out an article um, that this... Video. Or a video, not an article, I'm sorry. The video that this gun is also doing the same thing. And the twist in the, in the video is that uh, it's been known since the P320. Uh, uh -oh. was, it just was not allowed to be told to anyone. So that's, yeah. that's the big twist. To me, uh, to me, I'm like, nah, guns not drop safe. I've never heard of it. And don't care. But the twist is that they've been, you know, covered. Yeah, that kind of that kind of is fucked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah make, no, okay, I'm caught up now. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> so that, yeah. was that like 15 second overview. Yeah, I'm good now. I mean, more or less, more or less. So, uh, somebody remind me where I was before uh, Tim pulled me away. I can't remember. I think you. I think you were covering uh, the subject of. I think I asked you. You know, how did you actually f like figure out that this one was also oh, not drop yeah, yeah, safe? Yeah. And, and you, and that's why you were recanting, uh, not recanting, but recalling everything that happened with the P320. All right. Yeah. So um, how it played out, like I said, is I went to my gun safe. I took every gun that I had either in for T&E or that I owned. I took them all out to my garage and I hit every one of them with a hammer, all of them. And uh, I can hear echo. <laughs> Uh, You're good so on our end. Them. You're good. Yeah. Uh, well, I got my he ears turned up pretty high. Anyway, uh, so the only one that failed without disabling some safety mechanism was, uh, well, the, the only two were the P320 and the Honor Defense Honor Guard. And um, I think that has a lot to do with them being almost identical in terms of operation. Uh, and, and if I'm honest, I'm surprised Honor Defense hasn't been sued by uh, SIG for some sort of patent infringement. Well, Steyer was the one that owns the patent to the uh, to that drop-in. Yeah, and I'm surprised that they haven't um, like sued Honor Defense as well. But like, there's some other things that I'm sure that SIG's got a patent on because, like, you know, with, with the Honor Defense, that is the the uh, the firearm right there. That that little right. chassis. So this is, yeah, this is a chassis system. Played. Yeah, which is yeah. popular now because I know even the Hudson H9 has this chassis thing sort of. Got to be careful with that. Uh, Got to be careful with that because Steyer technically owns the patent to some sort of chassis system. And they're currently going, yeah. after, going after SIG and Beretta and some other ones for it. Right, yeah, they're currently going after uh, a couple of guys, but you know it, uh, that is what it is. Like there, yeah. there are a couple of guns out there in the market currently, you know, APX, P320. Uh, I think the Hudson's got something chassis-like. <laughs> uh, but um, I've, I haven't pulled one apart, and they wouldn't take one apart for me when I saw them last. Uh, then uh, I think maybe the, the Ruger RP9 is dassy like but it doesn't come out easily. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, yeah, this is the, uh, the firearm anyway. <laughs> I don't even remember where I was going with this. Yeah, so how it's did similar, you... How did you go ahead. Yeah, I think you were saying it's really similar to the B20. Uh, P320. Yeah, so it re re yeah th th that, that was my whole thought process was like, okay, well, this one's really, really similar to the P320. I'm willing to bet it probably suffers from about the same issue. And um, like it, that's what led me to take every gun that I own out to the garage and hit it with a hammer. And uh, now, like I will say that if you disable the trigger safety on a Glock, you'll get the same result. If you get the same, you get the same results on a Apex modified uh, shield, a stock shield if you defeat the trigger safety um you know and if you're defeating the trigger safety there's something wrong with the gun it needs to be fixed anyway but this is as it should be from honor guard uh honor defense like i didn't take this thing with me when i left the factory when i built it i left it with them 
they did all their QC checks or whatever the hell they did, it sat in their safe for a while. We like dickered over price because they wanted to charge me damn near retail for it when I'm a dealer. Um, and as a matter of fact, their current retail price is l less than I paid for the gun initially. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the behind the scenes drama, man, in the gun world. It's insane. Yeah. The stuff that people never see. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. And like I just got word from somebody else that like Honor Defense has sent out this like symposium to other guys. Like this is this insane email with all these documents and scans and pictures of like certifications of the Honor Defense's the honor, honor, the honor defense, honor guard, honor guard, honor defense is like drop safetyness to other content creators like behind my back after we spoke. Because I talked to honor defense today. Mm -hmm. What did they say today? So they tried to get the gun back um, and I declined for a very good reason. Like they wanted to get it back to inspect it. You'll never uh, say it again. Yeah. yeah. It will <laughs> exactly. Be exactly. Um, they, it's not going to come back in the same condition that I sent it out in. They're going to replace parts. They're going to claim that it was, you know, like yeah. dickered with. Like I don't trust them with my gun. So, like, this so right here's here, the thing, I'm, right? And, and I know you've probably you probably asked them today, but I'm going to ask the question again. Have they tested any of their other guns? Obviously, you said um, so, if you go to Such's web, uh, his Facebook page, there is a uh, video of Gary Ramey with a maroon honor guard, honor defense. And this thing is like, he, he claims it's, it's his personal gun. He puts it in a ransom rest and um, like, well, it's in a ransom rest and you see him beating the shit out of the back of the gun with a hammer. And that's not the test. That's not how that works. In order to like duplicate the forces that a fall would have on a pistol, you've got to have that in your free hand. You've got to hit it with a hammer on the back of the gun. Mm -hmm. like that's how that works. If you put it into a stationary object, it's not going to get the momentum when it's struck by something to duplicate the same forces you would see if it were to fall at that angle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, I mean, we can, we can get deeper into this. Obviously I'll, I'll let everyone I'm, ask questions here. Uh, yeah, what yeah, I, I want to know is, I mean, it. you know, it, if someone's looking at all of this, right, just because of the nature of this, and I know I go through the, these kind of things too, people will think that you're trying to start trouble here. No, yeah, man, he, has, I, he, has nothing, he has nothing to gain by starting trouble. What do you have okay, to gain so, by starting trouble? I mean, yeah. you know. Walter has a very, very good point. Um, and somebody out there is going to say, well, you're going to get the, uh, you know, you're going to get the ad money on YouTube. None of my videos <laughs> are Not a single one. Like I don't want to so, my videos. But it's so funny. Like what? <laughs> what the? I wish people really knew about this ad money. No, they nonsense. think that we get free stuff. And, and even you know, if whatever. you got the ad money, what would it be? People don't. Oh my God, guys, you don't no, know I, how I, little so, that money is. And like, let's 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 get. I want to get real here for just a second. Um, in terms of estimated re uh, like revenue, uh, <laughs> the life of my channel. Let me let me get to the videos on my phone so I can show you guys. Yeah, and be careful because uh, YouTube does have, have a term of service about what you reveal, which is another nonsense. I'm not telling you to, to be worried about it, but they do. Um, well, I can show you guys that, the, that you see all of these dollar signs right here. Mm -hmm. See how they're all gray? That means it's not monetized at all. Mm -hmm. I haven't turned ads on on those, on those videos. Now, they can go ahead and, and place ads on them if they like. Mm -hmm. My channel is technically monetized because I take super chats, but that's it. That is the only thing that I will do. Yeah. Now, Brian Quick wants to know um, if you said that the Glock isn't drop safe if the trigger safety is disengaged. No, that's it is not drop safe if you disengage the trigger safety. So if you defeat that trigger safety, it will fail just like the honor guard. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I saw that someone did the super chat. I did see that and I shouted that person out. Um, it might have gotten lost in the David Waters. Yeah, it might have gotten lost in the thing. But shout out to David Waters. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Okay, anyone else? Um, Walter, I know that you're kind of like. It seems to me like you're chomping at the bit, and then you don't want to rant. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just listening. And like, like, like I said about Patrick, what's he have to gain? He doesn't have anything to gain by doing this. You know, it's not like it's not like you're, you're you've got the competition pistol. 
you're, you're just doing what you do. You yeah. Know? At mean, this point, and, the, and regardless of that, Patrick is on his own right now. Yeah. He's on yeah, his own. So. And we all we all fight like you know we all inner fight amongst ourselves. Babyface trolls Patrick. So does Walter <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> but we're 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 like all friends. I'm trying to support him because pretty much Patrick is on his own right now, rocking and rolling, doing his own thing. This is his money that he's spending on this nonsense, right. and I know how it is because I've been doing it for five years. It's a lot of money. He's de he's definitely spending more money than he than he um you know than if you think he would be making money than he would be. I, I was, Hank, I was spending more money, money on gun stuff when I was working for the firearm blog than like you want to even know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. true. Just, yeah, just, uh, let, let's let's have a conversation about that. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of um, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of disappointed in the firearm blog to be honest with you. Oh, uh, where did he go? Oh, he, he said he's going to show you something. I think. Yeah, I mean, oh. <laughs> I, I don't know about you guys, but I think that we kind of like rely on these blogs. We 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 call on the firearm blog and the truth about guns here more often than any other source that we cite, right or wrong. Yeah, no, we use them for our news pretty well. Often. I, I do en I do enjoy their articles on the older guns. They're doing like the Brazil yeah. So it's kind of like disappointing to hear, you know, I mean, obviously we know there's stuff going on in the background all the time, but, you know, I don't think that they should try to necessarily protect a company because the, the number one person, people that they should always think about are the consumers out there, mm -hmm. the gun guys, the people who believe in the Second Amendment that would buy this stuff. Go ahead, Patrick. Sure, but they don't. All right. So let's have some real talk. I want to I lay down like some truth here. So all of your all of your viewers, everyone that sees this video, because I'm hoping you're going to cut this snippet out, understand where the content creator lands when it comes to free stuff and like how much it costs to produce this content. Holy crap. You're <laughs> like, I like it. It's funny. Stuff. I love this game. Yeah, yeah I love that stuff. <laughs> God, it's a voice. Uh, Get so em. how much money do you think you spent in the last 12 months. Uh, let's, go, let's go. Let's go. Since the beginning of the year, since you did your taxes last, how much money do you think that you have spent on gun stuff? No, yeah, Lola, on. what are we spending? Like fifteen, twenty thousand dollars every year, at least. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but that's your time. Yeah, and Nola says plus the time and all that kind of stuff is not even factored in. Yeah. I want to show everybody my receipts. Mm -hmm. Since I did my taxes last, that is my receipts right there. Yeah, that, that's that, that is why it's incredibly important to support your content creator on Patreon. Because without Patreon, without support like that, they have to go to manufacturers and say, hey, Sig Sauer, hey, Honor Defense, hey, Federal Ammunition, can you give me something to help me out, help me produce this content? Yeah, absolutely. I've been doing this for five years. I've never made a thousand, not even a thousand dollars a month from YouTube. Never. It's never happened. No, I mean, like, this is what, I mean, and then people look yeah, at Usually it's something like three, four hundred bucks a month. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, if you really want to know, this is before and after the whole thing that's been going on with demonetization. There's not a lot of money in this at all. Well, so it depends. If you're a larger channel, things change. Of course, yeah, but with massive numbers. And those guys work, if, like Mac, I mean, what is Mac? Like six, seven hundred, you know, I mean, this. Yeah, it's even more work. Like if you get bigger, it's exponentially more work that you have to do. Believe it or not. So, like, this is the the conversation that I want to have is, like, I, I mean, I've got receipts for you know, fifteen dollars for ballistics arc. That's an app. I've got another three hundred or four hundred and thirteen dollars for um, other stuff associated to to just do the. Uh, like long range reviews that I was asked to do. So it's 400 bucks on just a weather meter, uh, 450 on a weather meter, the ballistic software and a range finder. Just on that, that's not counting scope mounts, that's not counting the cost of a good first focal plane scope that you have to buy out of your own pocket. So that's why it's really important. Now that was somebody, I saw somebody in here ask why I left TFB, that was why. Last year, I wrote off seventeen thousand dollars in gun-related expenses on my taxes because I use them for work. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to think about this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a tough deal. And um, look, I, I think everyone does things their own way. You guys, Yankee Marshall has a video on this. 
um, that came out several months ago talking about the different kinds of uh, YouTubers there are out there. And I know this probably looks crazy, me saying this right now, the way that I'm looking, but there are different kinds of YouTubers, you know, different forms of entertainment and, and education, information, and all that kind of stuff that's out there. Everyone's doing this in a different way, and you have to take everything with a grain of salt. I understand, like, over here, you want to be entertained. You want some people to give you the real deal, et cetera, you know, and, and that should absolutely be that way, right? You should have freedom of choice, but it takes something to, like, it's not an easy thing to go out there and have these difficult conversations about a company knowing that they're gonna hate you. Maybe other companies are like, oh, we can't mess with this guy because he put people's stuff out there. You know, it's crazy. But I I always look at it this way. Before I started doing this, I was just a regular guy. I think I like to think I'm still a regular guy buying guns and getting into things and I don't know. And you make sacrifices to buy these guns, right? Everyone here, and even Walter, who's a manufacturer and pretty much a baller as far as I'm concerned. Oh. It, takes, it takes something to buy these guns. So sometimes to buy a gun, you got to sell a gun and do this thing and do that thing. I and I, I, I picture when I'm making my videos, I picture that guy out there who I lied to him about something and he drops thousands of dollars to buy a gun and it's total crap. And I'm going to meet him and have to explain that to him. So and we, exactly. we try at different levels to explain that because sometimes, as Patrick said, sometimes guns come in, we do a video, we don't go real in depth. We're like, hey, here's this gun. This is the first time we're shooting it. Boom, it's all good. We put it out there and we might not find out until later on, even if we do, because sometimes you can't even circle back to that thing. But if you do find right. out, you put it out there if you, if you can. If you know something and then you choose not to put it out there, I give a certain amount of license for like trying to talk to the company and work it out. But if you know something is wrong and you don't put it out there, that's the crime. That's well, dude, the bad I mean, thing to do. Well, when we're talking about the, the honor defense, honor guard, man, like when I tell you, like, Hank, if I tell you, let's say, um, man, I'm trying to think. If I tell you, hey, the brake lines in your car are cut. <laughs> and you say, man, I'm fine. I can use the shifter to like slow down and make turns and stuff. You get in that car and then you run through a school and like kill 400 children. Like that's on you, buddy. Yeah. Like, well, the first thing I would want to know is whether or not that's real. I think, Walter, you're the manufacturer. If someone comes to you and says there's a thing, aren't you going to go try to test like what you have or? Yeah, I'm going to try to figure it out. Yeah. What, what happened or why it's happening or yeah. Yeah. Because even if you stifle, here's the thing. I don't understand if people see this. If you manage to stifle a single YouTuber or 10 YouTubers about a problem that's out there, you can't stop. Everybody's a YouTuber today. Yeah, I mean, anybody can pick up their phone, and next thing you know, they got a YouTube channel. Yeah. That, that, is, that, is, that is what no one freaking gets. That's why these manufacturers still are still treating new media like old media. They believe that these big guys, like the firearm blog, they can buy an ad. They can buy silence that way. But the reality is, like... You've got guys like Hank, myself, Tim at Military M's channel that aren't going to abide by old media rules. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you that this thing's a piece of crap and you shouldn't buy it. Yeah. The first thing you get called, though, is like this is like the dirty word that everyone likes to call me and other people. Oh, no, well, not just that. No. <laughs> like, if you do something they don't like, you're unprofessional. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I don't okay. care about that. They can, they can tell me I'm unprofessional all I like. I don't write scripts because I don't believe in them. I don't believe in like sitting there and forming my words perfectly to deliver an idea. I want to get up in front of a camera and be genuine, just like I'm talking to a friend. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm always going to do things. I don't care if people don't like it or not. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Mike, you're, I know uh, you're probably trying to get a word in edgewise. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm just listening to everything. And um, I understand the pain. I understand the grief. But um, I do understand how greed can take over the marketplace. And that's what it sounds like here is just somebody's not willing to put out a good product where they want to put out the dirt just to make the money. They don't care about anything else. It's just bringing the money. No, 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 no. I don't think that's the case at all. Like, if I'm 100% honest, because Gary took it, like, very personally. He put his own gun, I think it's serial number two or something, and clamped it in a ransom rest and beat the crap out of it until he broke the frame, he cracked the back of the, the, the frame, and then he dented the, uh, the end plate on the gun. He cared enough to do that with his own gun. He's just not, he's, he's, he's ignorant to the proper way to conduct the test. 
So because he couldn't replicate it, because he couldn't see it, it didn't exist. Oh, so he was just trying to do it for his for his own use, trying to figure no, it no, out. No, no, yeah, it, well, like, um, if, if I tell you, Mike, that your wife is cheating on you, bro, and you're like, nah, man, she'd never do me like that. And it's not until <laughs> that you see her in bed with another chick, it, you're like, whoa, she is cheating, cheating on me with Donna <laughs> next chick. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Like, Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, you said another chick. Chick. Yeah. We lost his audio. That's if Mike. That might not necessarily be a bad thing. Patrick, you no, muted. That sounds like a party right there. Hold on. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> the, and now he loses his audio. I can't Bro, believe it. Is... <laughs> oh man. Are you there, Patrick? Uh, you should. Oh, there whoa, whoa. he is. He's back. <laughs> My audio. Uh, you said with another chick. I oh, just, just want to give. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm blowing <laughs> out. Willfully Happy. ignorant, I think, is might be what you're looking for. I'm, I'm getting too loud, so uh, give me a second to, to change. Uh, I, I I swapped the settings around so you could hear me better, and Which exceeded its maximal capacity. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a little bit too animated. So let me turn it down. I'll just. Uh, I'm hoping you guys can hear me now. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, you're good. All right, awesome. Yeah. So yeah, no, I did say chick. I, I said you know it's not until you see Donna next door laying next to your wife. They were like, holy crap, like he was right. My wife is cheating <laughs> me. Like that's when it, it, some people need to see it for themselves. They'll they'll completely ignore something. And it, it's like, nope, if I don't see it, it's not real. If I don't see it, it's not real. But when they can replicate it and see it with their own eyes, they're like, holy crap, I've got to fix this. Yeah. And I think that's the kind yeah. of dude that Gary is. He just doesn't understand the testing method well enough to perform the own the test in his own shop. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, it makes more sense. Yeah, now. I think that's uh, what, what do people? What is this called when people? What is it? Cognitive dissonance or something like that, or dissonance? Dissonance, cognitive dissonance. Yeah, you're the psychology expert, babyface. <laughs> oh, Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. Experience? No, I'm not. I'm. I'm just throwing a scenario out there, buddy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, you know what, it's unfortunate. I think we need to face these things. I think we realize these are mechanical things and not perfect. And uh, we should try to make them better, you know? Yeah, most things can be fixed. Yeah, most yeah. Fixed. Uh, I, I don't think this one can. Like, I really, really don't think so? I think it's going to take a complete redesign. So what did it take? Has, um, has SIG fixed the P320? Yeah, so they put a disconnector up inside, and they changed the uh, some stuff going on in the bottom. Uh, because of how this thing works, uh, I don't think it's possible. Uh, now, a lot of the Honor Defense parts are MIM. They're metal injection molded, which there's nothing wrong with. I'm going to put that out there. There's nothing wrong with MIM parts, as long as the MIM is done properly. Um, but I can't really show it to you guys. Let me see. Um, Hank, can you lock it on me real quick? Yeah, yeah, you're locked. All right, uh, all right. Let me see if I can get it to focus. If, yeah, I was gonna say if you put your hand behind it, it'll focus. It did focus for a second. Oh, there you go. Okay, there we go. You're focused right now. Do you see the back end of the seater yes. there? You see that that one little shiny spot? Yes, that's the contact area. Yeah, that's where the that sear engage penetration. That's the deformation in the sear. That's from the drop. Okay, so uh, if the hmm. sear was made out of a different material, would it fix it? Hardened steel, tool steel. Yeah, it have to be a, a a really really hard piece of metal. <laughs> but like, I don't think it would fix it because then you still have to overcome that failure. Um, okay. There's a couple of things going on when this thing impacts the ground. Like when it impacts the ground, that triggers moving back about wow. that far. Yeah. And whenever it moves back that far, okay. because it doesn't need any kind of external input. Is defeating the striker block at that point, and then the the pin itself continues traveling rearward inside right, of that that momentum. Yeah, so I don't know what it is that's sending it over the top of the sear. I don't know if that sear is rotating down, and I can't do it without like cutting holes in my gun and putting a high speed camera on it. But like it, it's either rotating out of the way or it's skipping right over the top because it's kind of an inferior metal. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, you know what? I'm very interested to see what happens here. Um, I don't you think, I think um, you know, Gary has already kind of shown uh, his, his approach to this, man. Like, I tried talking to him. I tried having a conversation saying, look, man, I found a problem. He went and, like, told my boss some bullshit to get me to be quiet. Um, 
and that was back in August. Tried again in September when I when I cornered him. I snuck into the AccuSport show. Like I'm not an AccuSport dealer. I don't work for an AccuSport dealer. I've got a friend that works there. They got me a badge, uh, you know, to go visit with a couple of friends of mine. While I was there, I cornered Gary at his booth. The dude freak. He shows me a video of his gun being beat on in the ransom rest. Like he hadn't responded to me previous to that. Mm -hmm. Like since then. Like I told him, I was like, "Hey, man! Like I was testing it myself, broke my frame. I need to go ahead and call you up and get another one, because um, I like to keep the gun in good shape." He's like, Kai, I do like it. I just would like to see this problem fixed. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Yeah, man, give me a call. We'll set something up." He then sent like the, the only other communication I've had with Gary after that show is he sent me a text and said, "Hey, use this coupon code on our website." Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, like if you're breaking something, trying to to show him that something's broken. Like it's it's kind of a given with manufacturers that they take care of that. They're, they're going to go ahead and put that gun back into a whole piece and say, thanks, man. Appreciate the data. At least that's how it's worked with every other company that I've worked with in the past. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, it's not a good strategy to take the barrier, the barrier head in the sand. Um, Tango <laughs> Hunter is trying to ask us about a uh, Hops 9. Is that safe on nitride? Anyone? Um, I think yeah, it should it be. be. It shouldn't it affect be. it at all. I mean, yeah, it's not going to kill nitride. No, if, they, if that was the case, nitride would be shit. Yeah. So. Yeah. And Vanessa Kitty wants to know, Patrick, where is the test method published? Uh, you can get on to, uh, actually, if somebody wants to link that video again, uh, I dropped a link down in the description. I also show it on the video. Uh, it's the Indiana State Police. That's an easy reference to find. Uh, they reference okay. exactly okay. how they do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, reference whether it's in a, a rest or a hand or whatever, but like you can often go over to Pistol Forum. I've got friends in the industry that are pistol engineers and pistol product managers that have told me how this test works and like what it's doing. So like I kind of used what they told me and then like found the resource to say, look, this is a real thing. So, um, but the firearm tool market uh, examiners guild or whatever the hell they are, they also talk about it. They're like Walter, you know who they are. Yeah. So on uh, David Wright, uh, there's a bunch of people responding to the Hops 9 question. I just wanted to let you guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> Fresh Fowler wants to know who owns an honor guard. Uh, does any, uh, other than you, obviously, Patrick, uh, does anyone in, else in here own one? I don't. You know, only Rock. Yeah. Uh, Walter, you haven't picked up. <laughs> Brand loyalty is dumb. Don't do it, please. <laughs> that's to you, Mike, about the Smith and Wesson. Hey, do it. A, hey, you know, I send mine off. I buy them stock, and then I'll send them off to somebody else and get work done. No, 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 no. I'm saying just buying something like, no, dude, I only buy Ford or I only buy Chevy. Oh, no, 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 no. I, that was just more of a joke. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Opt out of gun control said, never heard of an honor guard pistol. I've ha actually heard of them, but not that much. Um, I think they're trying to get their uh, social media profile up and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah. I think they were like, I think they were trying to reach out to us. I, uh, I know at least on, on my part, but towards the end of the year, I really try to avoid getting into anything new just because we're, we're getting ready for shot show. You know, there's a bunch of videos that have to get done. We have to make all the plans to go out to shine. It's like, you know, it's crazy. Well, uh, yeah, they've been they've been throwing guns at people since shoot last year, early last year. Um, I can tell you because I, I I know I was one of the first ones to get it um, when I reviewed it back in 2016. Uh, yeah, June 24, 2016, I got it, and it was relatively new. They introduced it at Shot 16. Yeah. So here's the thing: if they've been putting a bunch of these guns out there then I think that there are a lot of other people, at least in the media, that have these guns. And, you know, we'll see what comes out of that. Definitely, we said the truth about guns. The Firearm blog doesn't want to touch this, obviously. Um, and I think that's like, their silence speaks volumes to me. I think they should look into this and independent, independently test one, like go get it from a store or something. And I don't know what's going on. My mother. Huh? at this point like why, why why would you bother doing it like independently testing it isn't going to go ahead and gain any favor with me like i understand i've got some history with the firearm blog and i've got reason to be upset with them but i don't care if they go out and buy on a defense do a recall on their own dime the fact remains that they stifled information for months people were carrying guns 
for months that were dangerous because they didn't want to upset the apple cart. Right, absolutely. And I think that's – and but what I'm saying to you is for anyone out there looking at it, like, objectively, and they want to say, like, maybe you're mad because you're not working there or whatever. I mean, we've always supported them. We, we call on the Truth About Guns and the Firearm blog here more than any other source. We're gun guys. We talk a lot about guns. And it's disappointing to me that any any one of these gun, um, you know, online publications would try to do something like this. I don't. I just don't think that's a good idea to do because it's it's going to find the light of day. And even to like save face, obviously they can't do it with you, but to save face with the rest of us, at least try to come out and and uh, you know put out a statement on this where you're at, you know. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think they're going to do it, uh, man. Like I said, it's just not going to happen. Like the dude that is the editor over there, the editor in chief, the the big Kahuna. Uh, you know, his name is Paul, aka Steve Johnson. That's what he goes uh, online as. Uh, that dude is like one hundred percent not going to let it happen. He's not going to go ahead and admit fault. Just not going to. Okay, absolutely. Okay, so let's um, uh, let's kind of like try to change. Uh, you know, well, somebody, uh, the, the range of the RAS 47. Yes, I did a video on the RAS 47. Yes, I put 400 rounds through it. I didn't experience an issue in the 400 rounds that I was able to spend with that rifle. Is it a piece of crap? Yeah, it is. So, like, yeah. you want to go ahead and try to troll up the place with the. Uh, yeah, but you're not necessarily going to find that out at 400 rounds. I mean, it could be 400, no. it could be 4,000, could be 40,000. So. Exactly. Well, no, I mean, like, there's a pretty, like, pretty set interval when you start seeing problems and it's right about the 2,000, 2,500 round mark. I just didn't have the ammo and or time at the firearm blog to spend that kind of, uh, you know, put that kind of effort into one gun. That's what I'm doing now. That's that I'm, I'm rectifying my wrongs. Oh, okay. Um, also let me say one, we got Sam from fortune freedom jumping in here. He's all oh, geared no, up. Too. Sam. Yeah. He's Sam. geared up. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. He's all he's jingled up. Features, bro. Can y'all yeah. hear me? Yeah, we got you. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm go. just testing my headset. That's all. Yeah. Um, looking good. You got like <laughs> stuff growing out of the beard. Okay? <laughs> Smoking on a stogie. <laughs> you know, I don't know what kind of message that says. Just, but just be careful, man. Don't catch on fire. You're gonna, yeah, you're going to yeah. catch the beard on fire. Man. There's a lot to go. Oh, and there's, there's Jack Daniels involved. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, with ice at that, with ice. Um, oh, by the way, geez. before I forget, you're smoking on the stogie. That just reminded me. Uh, congrats to Gorillas and Guns on the birth of a new grandbaby. Oh, congratulations, yeah, congratulations to all the top supporter. Way to yeah. go, Gorillas and Guns on the Gorillas and Guns babies. putting out the babies. Congratulations. Yeah, when you get to, not, like when you have your own babies, that's one thing. But when you get, and then when you have like grandbabies, damn. You know, the only thing higher than that is grand, great grand babies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't think I'm ever going to see I that. Think, I think that's how that works, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. The Tyvon Show gave five bucks so we can say Merry Christmas to everyone. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. So there you go. All right, um, Yeah. Chad Patrick says Sam, a.k.a. Blackbeard. Arr, yeah. Sam. So what's going on with you, Sam? What's up with you? It's it's been a you know it's like like every Christmas party for everyone else. It's always insane at the Christmas party. So. Oh yeah. Oh, well, you know. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that. Speaking of that. I mean, I know. Um, I'm I'm 55, right? Okay. So back when I started working, whether it was when I was working part time at the trophy shop building trophies, they had a Christmas party, and when they had a Christmas party, they had a Christmas. Party party where you had liquor and beer and sex well that could come after <laughs> that could come if you, you know at that time you were single. hey walter i was single walter, then so how, it was good how bad did you want the uh, promotion how bad did you want that <laughs> <laughs> well i didn't give a shit about nothing back then but uh, <laughs> except having the fun but yeah so, so nowadays everybody's so scared of their shadow oh you might you know, first thing you got to worry about getting busted drinking, because now if you if you look at if you look at a beer, you can get your drunk, right? Um, or you're going to talk bad to somebody at your workplace, and they're going to sue you later on. Um, <laughs> what are they doing places now that they have Christmas parties anymore? I mean, no, they do. Uh, so like, 
Yeah. yeah, full disclosure, I used to work for Cheapy and Dirt. They do they still do a uh Oh wait, wait, hold on a second. Let let's not try to like let's not try to brush over that. <laughs> you worked for Cheaper Than Dirt? Yeah, I did. Hank, don't get ranting. Don't get ranting. <laughs> it's we're supposed to be having some fun. Really. Like, I'm gonna try to I hold back. I was real, real, real hesitant about it, but I was in the job before I went to Cheaper that uh like put my safety at risk a lot. Yeah, I can like, hear audio from uh, leading through. I know. Yeah. I'm gonna stab somebody. Yeah. Real. Um, yeah, so you worked at Cheaper Than Dirt. Are yeah. you the guy who canceled my order in when the fire... Um, <laughs> I was just going to ask personally. <laughs> and resold it for three times as much? Yeah, that was you, Patrick. I know it. I can tell you how that works. Like, I, I, I had a lengthy conversation with uh, some of the management there trying to figure it out. That's what Hank did when that happened. That yes. Right yes. There. Meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, I don't, I'm not even reading the chat anymore. Uh, so yeah, I, I'll, I'll be glad to tell you guys like how that played out and like how their system works and how that 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 situation manifested itself. Um, like overnight, like somebody threw a switch, people started buying stuff left and right, AR-15s, magazines, all of that stuff. Well, they've got several different systems, right? They've got a uh, a sales system on the website, so that takes all of the orders and puts it into what they call batches. And then that sales software talked to the inventory and shipping software. And that was communicated every hour. Now that inventory software then communicated to drop shippers. So it told drop shippers, like, hey, I need 30 magazines going to John, you know, Galt in you know Trailer Park 13. Mm -hmm. Like that happened at that same hourly interval, right? So if something was ordered and sold out within an hour, like the sales system didn't have a good count. Now, where the real screw up happened is all of the drop shippers. They've got something like 13 or more drop shipping warehouses. Everyone in the country is ordering out of these things. So, like, you know, the, man, there's a ton of online retailers that do this. They do, they do drop shipping. Um, and so imagine like 30 Walmarts ordering from the same stock room, right? And everyone's submitting their order at the same interval. You have this big batch of orders come in where you sold 300,000 AR 15s and back to the inventory before, right? Well, store B, 300,000 AR 15s also, and store C did as well, and store D, and so on and so forth. So, all of these orders come in, they're like, hey, man, like, we only have enough to fulfill some of your orders. I'm sorry. So, they would cancel the ones that they couldn't take care of, right? Now, when you saw that product pop back up, it was from another drop shipper because that same UPC might be offered uh, from like you know three or four different uh, of you know drop shippers. And when say RSR Group sold out of something, maybe Ellet Brothers had it, and that came back in inventory, and that's when the system caught up with itself. So that's how it broke. Okay, I understand that. I know that, but when that ammo went from. Three hundred dollars a case to eight hundred dollars a case for that green tip. That was nothing but just yeah. That was a out. stab in the heart. That was yep. a stab in the heart. I would rather cut off my own right nut with a rusty freaking blade oh, okay. than ever okay. deal with, okay. with cheaper than dirt ever again. <laughs> yeah, you're going overboard. So, so <laughs> that's what happened. That, that that that's how this plays out, right? Now. Um, uh, the range one, yes, that is what they mean by warehouse A, B, C, et cetera, so on, uh, or one, two, three, four. So that all played out, and that's why they stopped selling guns. Like, so many orders came in that it broke their phone system, it broke their ordering uh, you know, software, like the order management software was broken, email was broken, everything broke on the back end, and they just stopped all sales. Like they just said, you, hold on, guys, let me catch up, right? Now, the ammo that you're talking about, that is 100%. A, a screw up on their part, and the same with the magazines. So how that played out, and this is this is where things get fun. They stole out of everything in the general inventory, right? Everything was gone, and they're like, "Well, what do we do now? Like, we just got to sit on our hands." Well, the owner of Cheaper Than Dirt found cases of magazine and ammo in another warehouse that he had stashed away for the zombie apocalypse, and said, "Hey, man, like, I don't want this. Sell it." And when he saw how fast it was going, he was like, no, I want that to be more. Like, we need to make that last. So he jacked the price up until, like, the amount of product going out the door, like, tapered off to a normal level, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so that, that's, that's what happened. Yeah, well, I think they lost the loyalty of a lot of people that, you know. I'll agree. I'll agree. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I, I understand, like, I believe in capitalism look, and everything, you know. It doesn't look I've that way. I've seen their sales numbers, man. Uh, yeah. Like, the, the, the general buying public doesn't care. They just go yeah. back to whoever has the best deal. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah, I that's true. That's true. I mean, you know, well, no it is what it is. So, um, let's. So, okay, we got Sam. Go back to Sam. a Christmas party. Yeah, so who's absolutely. been? Who's been to a good Christmas party lately? Where people are drunk and oh man, this, this, we had ours. having, having just a, having just a hell of a time. We had this ours one, last Friday night. Friday night. Hey, 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 the people, the people you've never seen drunk or party or. Are just taking their clothes off Tim. and getting. Whoa! Uh -oh. <laughs> Celebrity in the house. Wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> Tim just came in here and he was oh, like, "This is like deja comes. vu all over what? again." This is... <laughs> what? that thing, Hank? Get rid of it, please. <laughs> this is your old friend. This is your old friend, Mac, right here. <laughs> you're just trying to. You're trying to do that in my stead, right? Hold on. Yeah, Mac. <laughs> Mac hates this thing. <laughs> I think oh, Tim's trying to rotate the camera so we know he's not. On the, the, on the toilet. Yeah, back, back <laughs> no, I'm not. On, I'm not on the toilet. I'm sitting here with all my kids, and oh, the oh, wife took off to go to the store. Crazy. Come on, Coop, don't. But uh, okay, yeah, we got to bump up your audio a little bit here. Let me see. I'm, I'll turn it up a little. Can, can you do it? Yeah, yeah. That, okay, good. There you go. All right, cool. Yeah. So, um, I know Mac. You know, the last time you were on a chat like this with a whole bunch of people it didn't exactly. Go very well. It didn't go the way I wanted yeah. it to go. So if, if, anybody, if anybody wants to start telling anti-gun stories or talk about how we need to regulate things or how turn the audio down, money, turn the audio down, turn the audio down. Yeah, turn the audio down. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. If you everybody. feel like you need your medication, take it right now. It looks like Welcome I'm like Christmas completely like relaxed here. I'm on my iPad and it's uh yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, thanks okay. for coming on. Um, you know, this is our Christmas party. That's why I'm dressed up like this. <laughs> and uh, in honor of you coming in, I will turn on the lights. Let's see if the All lights right. still work on this thing. Lola, oh, the lights aren't working. Oh. Damn it. it work. Oh, there, there it goes. Go. Look. Woo! There you go. Well, here you go, guys. Here, see, like, everybody likes to give me. This is for all my PETA member friends that are out there. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, excellent. Excellent. Uh, excellent. That's excellent. A, that's a nice one. <laughs> yes, I killed that. I shot it, and I proudly have it hanging over my fireplace. Is that recently? Because you've been, on, like, on a tirade hunting every single thing that moves. I know, man. I'm trying to, like, kill everything in North America. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's fun. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so um, yeah, you came in here. We were just talking about Christmas parties, and you have an FS two thousand that's almost tactfully hidden against the wall back yeah, there. Yeah, do you like, see this? It's blending in. Okay, it's almost me, perfect. We voted that the ugliest gun in the world. Yeah, let me yeah, tell stop. you the story of this. The other day on the show, right? We were we were having a live chat, and we said, "What's the ugliest gun?" And so I said, even though I love uh, bullpups, the FS2000 is like the ugliest gun. Well, Big Daddy, Tony, Big Daddy came in and heard that. And he was like, wait a second, I just bought one of those. <laughs> so it came in today and I was like, oh, that is going on the show. I like <laughs> so, the FS2000. Yeah, it's ugly, but it's cool. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's a bullpup. Hey, it works. It works. Yeah, it works. It's, and it's light. It it's it very light. But it, right. it, it does, uh, it, it actually yeah, redefines the word ugly when, when talking about military rifles. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I would buy one. I would buy one. Um, they're expensive. I think he still paid like 2100 or something for this. Oh, yeah, people, they stopped importing them. Yeah. Yep. They stopped, they stopped producing them for import. And, uh, of course, nobody would buy them at, at – at you know eighteen hundred dollars, so they wait until they go out of production and no longer imported. Then and now you can't one. find them for twenty five hundred dollars on GunBroker because people overpay for them now. Yeah, it's absolutely. funny how the market works. Yeah, so it's so crazy. <laughs> but I, I would I would have one just so that like I could make my claim of being the bullpup king against Mac because he's nope. the only like you've got you've got obviously you got videos of this. <laughs> I see I seen your videos. <laughs> so I'm always trying to troll Mac and say that I'm the bullpup king, but. <laughs> now I don't think it's going back up straight. I'm trying to get it to sit up straight here. No, that's so, what she uh, said. <laughs> yeah, I want to apologize to everybody that, that was watching earlier when I stepped away in the middle of the story to talk to Tim. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to get oh, Tim look up. At this. Yeah. Oh, look at the baby! All right. 
Wait, uh, these these can't be your babies because they don't have beards. Yeah, <laughs> they're working on it. When when uh, <laughs> when Child Protective Services isn't here, we draw them on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's not happy, man. What happened? You, what's okay, so who are we looking at, Mac? Can we can we get names? So I don't know if you want to. Yeah, I I try to keep my kids out of it. Okay, video, don't but, don't don't yeah, yeah don't do it don't do it. But they are very cute. <laughs> This one looks just like me, doesn't he? Yeah. He looks <laughs> terrified. <laughs> Look at the eye. Yeah, he's like, what the hell? They're, they're like, what is going on? This is scary. I know. We're, we're, we're doing the kid yeah. thing, eh? All right. So They're looking at, like, the wonderful world of Santa Claus. Because we got, we got Sam over here. He's looking... Uh, uh, I, I, I don't want to say right. what's actually going through my mind because I'll get in lots of trouble. They can't. Uh, but uh, uh, Sam's looking up. a lot like a jihadi Santa Claus right there. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing. It doesn't exist. <laughs> so there you go. Walter is looking <laughs> like uh, not not he's not even your uh, your pasty white Santa Claus because he's got. I, I fell into the bushes. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm like a mix of uh, Santa Claus and a reindeer. Man, you're going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you robbed yeah. a gun store Stop. today. That's all that is. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So, uh, so yeah, 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 were... There was a serious topic in here somewhere, wasn't there? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. Uh, I, want, I, want to, I want to talk about that. Uh, all of you guys, if you want to, go over to Truth, the Truth About Guns right now and uh, take a look at, uh, I think it's the second story on their homepage. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's, the the title is amazing. Did they oh, drop? Oh, I know what it's about. So, well, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up there, right there, so you guys can see it on my phone. Eh, ah. Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I see a Did the firearm block spike the honor guard drop safety story? Uh oh. So they tested it themselves. It looks like then. No, yeah, truth about guns did. Like uh, Jeremy S over there is a good friend of mine. Actually, we just flew out to Roswell and shot out to twenty six hundred yards with a Ritter and Start gun. At, at aliens, uh, are hoping. like I was gonna say, I, I, aliens. <laughs> dude, okay, well, there that was like incredibly disappointing. Uh, the alien stuff was not that prevalent. <laughs> it, it, there was like a couple stickers and like a cut out uh, piece of like uh, wood on the side of the road that had been hand painted. That was it. Did you get to the black mailbox or no? No, that's Area 51, dude. Oh, okay, never mind that. That's in Nevada. Yeah, it's really – That's wrong one. Yeah. Never mind. So, Mac, yeah. what do you – What do you, anyway. I know we probably only have you for a limited time here. Yeah. Um, and I definitely want to give you a chance to talk. If my wife comes home and, see, and sees what I'm doing, she's going to yeah. kill me. Well, just in case, you know, just in case Yankee Marshall is watching, we, we got to make sure you at least talk. So that someone looks good in this whole no compromise. <laughs> yeah, that, there you go. <laughs> Hashtag not one inch. Not so, one inch. What do you think about this, Matt? Because honestly, all kidding aside, and I know this looks uh, crazy asking this question right now. What do you think about what's going on here? Because you've been doing this for a long time and getting in trouble when you give people the real deal. What do you think about all yeah. this? <clears throat> well, I don't know the whole story. I, all I know is, um, you know, what what has been shared with me it all like got dumped on me today um and so i'm not quite sure what to think all i know is that um you know it's it certainly now now we've seen that the pistol has been uh has been able to fire from two independent tests so it does look like there is a flaw in the design of the gun i would say it's hard to say with with a sample set of two but um you know patrick did it and then jeremy turned right around and did it and jeremy i watched his video what's even more concerning is He's not even really hitting it very hard. He's kind of tapping it. Um, I did see the video that uh, that Gary from Honor Guard put out of him beating one into submission in a he had it looked like in a ransom rest anchored to a table. Um, but I don't I don't feel that that's a representative test because um, the problem that like the Sig P320 ran into is the fact that it does not. I always call it a dingus that little piece of plastic that you see in the center of all the modern guns. Dingus. I, the dingus that, <laughs> that little that little dingus serves a purpose and that purpose is that dingus has little mass very little oh, mass so when mind. a gun is dropped and it's going one direction and it suddenly stops going that direction and bounces and starts to go the other direction it's that it's that sudden change in movement that can cause the weight of a trigger to pull itself well that little dingus which has very low mass keeps the trigger from pulling itself it requires a human finger to push it out of the way so the gun can fire. 
So it's not uncommon to, to see guns like the SIG P320 fail those types of tests. I was rather surprised it took that long for it to come out. Now, the Honor Guard I've not seen or fired, so um, I'm assuming it does not have a trigger dingus. I guess I could look it up. Uh, I got one right here, buddy. Let me see what it looks like. Dingus yeah, or no dingus? Lock it. Yeah, let's see if the dingus or no dingus. There's no dingus. There's no dingus, and no I would dingus. say that's probably... It's dingusless. It's been is castrated. The, is the trigger aluminum or a polymer? Is it some sort of metal or is it polymer? Metal. Made out of metal. Metal. So there you go. You have an increased mass trigger. Uh, yep. You have no dingus to prevent inertia from pulling that trigger. So yep. I would say that's probably the source of the problem. Uh, so we're going on inside, though. Uh, it's got something to do with the sear angle and the striker angle. Um, so you think maybe the sear's hopping off? It's it, it's disengaging. Yeah. yeah wow. So what's happened is when that when that pistol falls uh, like that, we're getting a little bit of rearward travel on the sear. Oops, I think I just broke something. Uh, we're getting a little bit of rearward travel on the uh, on the striker. Mm -hmm. Pop it over the sear. Uh, like I'll mm. I'll shoot you some pictures here in a little bit. Uh, but the so you're overcoming the, the the sear has a spring pushing one way, and you have the striker with a spring pushing the other way. You would have to overcome the spring on the the sear and the spring on the striker. Well, actually, you just have to overcome the spring. The combination on the sear. of things. The striker spring itself is reasonably weak, and yeah. the way it rotates. If you smack it like that, you're getting a rotate rearwards. And I just I see what you're saying. my frame again. Nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it, it kind of rotates out of the way, and I think that I that see. junction with like the sear uh, or the uh, the striker being retracted just a touch from that impact of the ground, as well as the trigger moving back just that little bit. Because if you look, at the so pull the trigger. Let me watch what that sear does. Uh, I don't know if it'll do it. Well, I just want to see which direction it moves. I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. It moves yeah. backwards. Rather it than just backwards. Down. Yeah, it's down. Moving yeah. Back. yeah, it's not coming straight down. It's moving back. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah I think you might have uncovered something there, Patrick. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's working really, really similar to a, uh, a Glock does. Like the cruciform and the little piece of plastic in the back drops the cruciform out of the way, much the same way that this thing's moving. It just does it in a different way. So, mm -hmm. but, like, I think that the, the fact that this sear surface is so large, it's so heavy, the, the spring itself is really weak. Like, right. there's nothing to it. Yep. But well, it there's, this, there's, this, there's this constant battle to have a sweet trigger on everything, yeah. too. So, yeah. mm -hmm. um, no, that looks like it, man. That looks, I think it might be onto something. That looks like it. And that sear, I'm assuming, is obviously made out of metal you're right it's pretty darn large and if it has has a relatively weak spring sure, it would sure. make sense that that's what's moving rearward when being dropped you, you want the fun, um, part. the fun part is it's made out of metal it's a metal injection molded part and i mean can you lock that on me hank yes please? locked okay um now if you look at that do you see on the back edge there's a dark spot right there yeah a, like it looks like there's a divot in it a, a chip material yeah, yeah. It's chipped, like the drop chipped that thing. Mm. Oh, wow. So that so now that's worse. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, what do what do you do? Right. It's, it's not cracked though, is it? It's just chipped or cracked? No, no. It's mm. just it's just chipped. So the metal that I I believe that if I put this on like a, a hardness testing machine, which I don't have and I don't have any way to do it, um, I'll have to ask around and see if we can find one. But I believe if you put that onto a like a hardness testing machine, you're going to find that the uh, the sear itself is going to be kind of an inferior. Yeah, sorry. It's he's so he's cute, man. It's so cute when like someone else's kids give him a hard time. I love it. <laughs> well, what would it be cool is if later on he starts to design that fix the design. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I need to do this. Yeah. This. Oh, here huh. comes another baby. They're yeah, we got the babies. The battle of the babies. The babies. Yeah. Um, and baby face right here. Um, <laughs> do you notice, does anyone other than me notice how baby face P right here looks a lot like, I think you've been having babies for a while. I got my, uh, I got my baby. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Looky here, looky oh. here. Oh, baby, baby face has got his baby in there too. So, you know, listen, so what, You've been through this before, Mac. Um, what do you think about the way the company's reacting to this right now? Well, it seems like a, 
right. more often than not, the, the companies become defensive. SIG became defensive. Um, I, I kind of sense that Honor Guard's becoming defensive. You know, what they're facing is, is pretty serious, man. They're, they're, they're facing a recall, and that can put a company out of business. And I can understand, um, you know, them fighting back to a degree, but honestly, it seems like it's a serious safety issue from what I've seen. I can't say it is. I've not played with it. I don't know for certain, but, man, with, with two different guns out there now that are firing when struck from behind with a, a hammer, it seems pretty uh, – Pretty bad. Yeah. Tim, I have your FFL. I'll send you this one. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll check it out, man. I'd like to see it. Um, I might actually just order one in to get my own so I can get a, you know, fresh, a, yeah. a new copy. Yeah. And one that's made by Honor Defense and not me, which is probably a value add. Might take <laughs> a couple years to get it now. <laughs> no, well, I mean, they're already out there at distributors. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I should thinking. be able to pick one up out of distribution. Okay. Um, okay. Sure. But, you know, I, I, I'd be curious to see what the, the final solution is. I think right now Honor Guard's just taken by shock by all this. Well, well Patrick, you said they knew about this for a while, though, right? Yeah. Took yeah. Them? I, I told them, yeah, I told, uh, told them August 11th of this year. Mm. Wow. Mm, yummy. So, uh, and, and as far as you know, has any design changes occurred? No. No, I, t- I saw him a month later at the AccuSport show in Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, that's when he showed me the same video that he emailed to you. Where he's beating the crap out of his gun in a ransom rest because he doesn't right. understand. That's, yeah. Huh. And I think what we were discussing before you came on, Tim, is that this is one of the reasons why uh, Patrick is no longer with the firearm blog. Yep. Um, because they asked him to not put out anything about this. Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah. Since August. If you head on over to the Truth About Guns, they actually just did a story because I interviewed with them earlier today about TFB squashing this particular like safety notification to you guys. Now, do you, out of curiosity, and I don't want to get you in trouble or anything legally, but, um, oh boy, come over here, buddy. Did, did, um, with, with regards to the squashing of the story is, was, um, honor guard an advertiser at the time, or was it just, they didn't want to put out anything negative you think? No. Yeah. They, they, well, okay. So it came on the heels of the P320 debacle. SIG absolutely is an advertiser. Uh, now, the 20 story, they tried to kill that several times. They told me that we were done with it. And I had more info. Like, I still hadn't gotten to pr- – I, I, I hadn't been able to – that SIG knew for, like, a substantial period of time previously. Now, Tim, you and I have talked about this, like, at length. Yeah. So – and I'm not – without, you know, any specifics. Um, SIG entered their gun – for a German police trial at some point, right? Now that police trial, that, that German state police trial, it, it's, there's a document called DR testing. And, then, and it talks about uh, how to drop a pistol and at what angles, what heights, and what surface it needs to be dropped against. It's really, really aggressive. It's much more aggressive than any SAMI tech testing or anything that we see here in the States. Yeah. Uh, I had internal, uh, I had some like, indication internally from SIG that it had failed that. Uh, I was still digging on the 320 drop failure thing when that all happened in August to show that SIG knew uh, because they had submitted it for this battery of testing under the TR doctrine for the German state police. And like, right. don't ha- I still don't have any proof because the own proof house is like a state owned agency that a private company can come in and pay money to test their gun. Uh, but their findings belong to the company. So I, I can't prove it. It's all conjecture. And like, it's all off record statements from somebody within SIG. So right. like, it is what it is. Well, it's kind of interesting. I, if I recall, and this is all from memory, but I believe SIG was trying to submit trigger design changes during the uh, MHS program trials. And the army allowed certain changes, but they didn't allow other changes. They considered them to be too significant. Um, Correct. And therefore, if, if they allowed those changes to go forth, they would have to start the testing over again because the, the, the changes were so significant. So certain trigger changes were made. We don't know what they were, but rumor has it that SIG knew about the problem. They were trying to fix the problem in the MHS program and oh. still came out with a contract, but we don't know. I mean, well, again, it's, it's, it's conjecture. That's just stuff I've heard yeah. through the industry. Well, yeah, and that, that's, that's, that's the same stuff I've heard. Uh, now, here's where things get interesting. This is stuff you can put your hands on, man. If you look at the picture of the XM17 when they won the contract, look at what trigger it's got on there. 
the gun that they showed that was adopted as the XM17, as the M17 rather, that thing's got the updated trigger. Yeah. Yep. So, like that right there should tell you that. Sig Sig was wise. They, yeah. They knew. They knew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, Mac, have you gotten a chance? To, have you ever gotten the uh, Honor Guard? Have you ever shot it, tested it anywhere? No, their their um their PR agency reached out to me and said, "Hey, if you would like to, you know, check one of these out, just let us know." And I really don't have much interest in the gun, so I I, I declined. Um, it's just not a gun I would normally buy or use or whatever. So um, I haven't had any experience with it. I've never fired one. We've um, seen them come into the shop. I know a customer ordered one in, transferred it in. I handled it momentarily. Mm -hmm. That's about the extent of my experience with them. Oh, okay. You, and yeah, so you, from that from that whole experience, you didn't have any like uh, thoughts on it? Wow. Well, I tried to convince the customer to let me beat his gun against the desk, but he wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? So, okay. But, now, but I will say now my, my interest has peaked. I, I, I will pick one up just for my own, you know. I'm, I'm curious at this point. Whether or not I do videos about it, I don't know, but I am yeah. curious. At this point, I just want to see if it's truly a design flaw. Yeah. And then uh, I mean, also, ho hopefully, these guys do something about it because there's lots of them out there, and we could talk about this all we want to, but the people that should really do something about this immediately is the company, right? Well, that's just it. I mean, if there's truly a design flaw, try, trying to cover it up. I mean, I understand that it's a small company, and this could be the death toll for them, right? I mean, if they have to recall all those all those handguns, if every single one of them is defective, but on the other side of that, um, you know, based upon what I saw Jeremy's testing and what it consisted of, I mean, he literally tapped the gun, just tapped it, and the thing went off. That is insanely dangerous if they're all that way. I don't know that they are. But that company has to honor guard is going to have to weigh, um, you know, a, a potential serious, serious lawsuit if somebody gets hurt or killed versus recalling all the pistols and correcting them, which would probably put them out of business. So I don't know. Well, they're, yeah. they're, in a, they're in a bad position right now. Yeah. Uh, it's really um, so I get, get the impression that they are having trouble with sales. Mac or Tim, you get the same um, press release as I do, man. Like yeah. it seems like once or twice a week, I see something about Honor Defense doing some promo program, or a pro deal, or offering new colors, or some sort of giveaway. Like they're pulling out every marketing trick in the book. It, it seems like, and um, it's like, not just them; it's the industry as a whole, man. It's yeah, like, I would agree stuff, with that. I, I see stuff showing up on CDNN's website that I simply can't believe the prices they're buying at. Because, you know, CDN will go and buy, in, and, and buy up entire inventories of guns like RP9s, and they'll sell them for $199 because they bought them for some dirt cheap price. Um, it's kind of where products go to die, not necessarily brands, because they sell name brand stuff too all the time. But when you see them blowing out stuff at rock bottom prices, the market's in the tank. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're blowing out name brand stuff. I mean, you're seeing Smith & Wesson. You're seeing yeah, you yeah. Know, Walter. Walter. Colt and Walter. You're seeing really, really big names showing yeah. up on CDNN's website for blowout prices. And that means they're all trying to get liquid because they're yeah. all hurting for money right well, now. Well, I saw, I saw some Smith & Wesson's dirt cheap Black Friday stuff I couldn't believe. Yeah. <laughs> How cheap that stuff was, yeah. But I mean, it's ridiculous, guys. We can we can buy AR-15s now. I mean, I bought my first AR-15 back in 1986 for 540 dollars. I can buy a brand new Colt. Well, uh, not a Colt. I think it's the M&P for 499. Yeah. And they had a Smith and Wesson, Smith and Wesson, on 100 dollar rebate going too. Yeah. So yeah, it's insane. You know what? This um, shot show is going to be very interesting for anyone who's going out there. I think because I want to see like how many companies are still going to put on the show no matter what. Mac, um, are you? I'm not going, like, but I, 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 yeah, I hate shot show. It's just, it's just a mess. I don't get, you know, I spend a lot of money going there and I don't get that back. So I just don't see the value in it for me. Um, but I will say that I've already heard that shot shows rearranging tables and stuff because so many companies are pulling out. Keep in mind, really? these companies, these companies have to pay upwards of 50 grand to a hundred thousand to even more, a uh, hundred thousand dollars or more for a table there a for that week. And that's a big nut to cover when you have no sales, especially in a time when you have companies yeah, laying you, off 200 employees at a time. If you pull out, you don't get them back. Yeah. Yep. You, you pull wow. out, you lose the slot. So that's the, but that's the choice. But you'll, you'll keep in mind some of the smaller companies that are down in the, you know, the basement area anyway, it doesn't really matter. If they're, if they're struggling, they're not going to pay, you know, 25, yeah, 30, to go 40, out 50 there. grand to go out there and get no sales. 
because Mm -hmm. pretty much a lot of the the big companies I talk to, I say, why do you go to SHOT Show? And they all say the same thing. Well, you just kind of have to. You you, kind of have to be there. Otherwise, you're not seen as being a player in the industry. They don't get the sales. People, that, you know, people don't walk up and give them big, massive, multi-million dollar deals at SHOT Show. That just doesn't happen. It's a place where everybody goes, gets drunk, has fun, hangs out, you know, gambles and runs around yeah. with hookers. I, and I they get away from their parents for, uh, get away from their, their family. Literally. Their, parents, yeah. their family for a week. That's the truth. That is yeah. 100% the truth. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think don't they go should, in at SHOT Show anymore. Orders yeah, I think they should change ASCW. this whole, I think they should change the format of what they do here and like come up to, you know, to the, to, to the times the that we're living First in. Freaking admission. Yeah. Yeah. Make, oh, no. make, it like yeah. the NR, make it like the NRA show where it's a big gun yeah. show. Yeah. But it, you got to get it out of Vegas because Vegas yeah. is so yeah, anti gun. You can't, even before the tragedy, you couldn't take guns into the hotels and none of our, our, our concealed carry permits right. are valid there. I mean, it's a horrible town to hold the it's world's expensive. largest Everything's expensive. industry event. Bring it back yeah, to Orlando. Yeah, and it's expensive. Bring it back yeah. to Orlando. Yeah. I'd love to, it's only two hours away. We can make it. I agree. That's an hour in Dallas. If they move it, I'll go back. I'm just, I have, I hate Las Vegas. Also, here's the, here's the thing. I think that they need to come up to speed with um, what's going on in the stores, right? And even what's going on with manufacturers in terms of how they market their guns, how they get the guns out there, how people decide to buy stuff. And I know it's, it sounds self-serving. Obviously we're all in the, you know, in in this side of the industry. So it sounds self-serving to say that they have to talk to us more, but honestly they need to. Because, for example, Mac, do you, you know, you don't even need to go there, right? No, I mean, most, I, I think most people would agree that, especially in the media, most of our deals are done through email and phone calls. We don't need a big industry event where we all have to travel for a week. Um, you know, and, and again, for media folks, now, granted, a lot of times companies will offer to pay to take people to SHOT Show, uh, and then, and that offsets that cost. For me, it's out of my own pocket. So, um I just, you know, I'm not there to make sales. I, I don't sell companies on buying videos. I, I, I have no reason to go other than to see new products, but I can sit back and watch all that stuff live on the internet because so many people do go and cover the new products, right? Um, and then I'll just send an email and say, hey, I'd like to check that out. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, yeah, the Firearm Blog does an amazing job at covering Scott Show. Even though I'm going to be there, I'm not doing a single bit of content. I have no desire to do it at all. Yeah. Yeah. And my, my, and what kind of sucks for me is because when you're a video guy, you go there and you want to show something of substance, but all you really get to see at SHOT Show is something that's, you know, security cable to the wall, has a piece of white paper in front of it that just has the basic weight, sight radius, what features it has. And all you can really do is stand there and regurgitate <clears throat> what the company propaganda is and say, I'll tell you more about it later. That's just not a very... You exactly. know, there, there's not much content to that video for me. So I stopped taking a camera on the floor many years ago. Okay. And, uh, and we're getting a question. Um, so this is a question that we're getting from the chat. Is it true that the organization behind, behind SHOT Show has sold out to, an, to the anti-gun crowd? That would be the NSSF. Um, NSSF took the same position NRA did after the Vegas shooting, and they said that they supported ATF regulating bump stocks. Oh, yeah. wow. That's so, I mean, cool. I, I recently met someone from the NSSF, and I I don't know. I think that they probably have the same kind of issues that the NRA does. They're a bunch of FUDs. Yeah. They, they, um, it, it, that's what they, they suffer yeah, from yeah, FUDism. Yeah. 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 No, There's I'll, probably I'll some good there. folks in there. I'm not trying to knock everyone inside of there for sure, but, you know, I think that a lot, I, everyone has to take a look at this. This is so amazing to me. That uh, Mac, you talked about this on the roundtable when you're on the roundtable. I, I I saw the whole thing, you know. Um, don't get regard- me wound up, Hank. <laughs> I know, but regardless <laughs> of what went down there, I don't think it was a bad thing. I think there were a lot of positive things that came out there if people were listening. And one of the things that you were saying is that we ch- we're changing this, you know, in terms yeah. of us being uh, social media content creators, the gun guys who are getting out there and getting on YouTube and Instagram or whatever, but but. Mm-hmm. But the folks at the gun companies, the manufacturers and the organizations around this are trying to pretend we don't exist or make clones of us that they yeah, control. They try, they, they try to marginalize us. And, you know, these companies pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to the NRA to get in their good graces. And how do you think a company gets an NRA, uh, you know, pistol of a year award or rifle of a year award? I'll tell you how they get it. They pay the most money for it. Um, 
And, yeah, and it's, it's like the sexiest just to make... man of the it's sexiest man in the in the world thing for People Magazine or sexiest woman. You pay, you yeah. get it. Yeah, it's 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 all bought and paid for. It's a bunch of back padding and a bunch of you know rich people sitting around you know finding out other ways to get richer. And it's just it just isn't representative of the industry. But I will say, despite all that, and my and my criticisms of the NRA and they're they're not protecting our rights as they should be. The NRAM show. The NRA show, I'd much rather go to than SHOT Show. I love the NRA show because I get to interact with people. I'm not there to work, per se. I'm there to have fun, see what's new, talk to fans, you know, and and, and have a good time. And it's always in a different town, so it doesn't get stale. Um, yes, yeah, so, I'm 100% with you on that. Like, uh, I would absolutely rather go to NRA. In fact, I when I was still with the Firearm blog, I told them I thought that NRA was more important than SHOT Show. You know, more and more companies are starting to roll stuff out at the, at the NRA show. Um, yeah, well, they can roll it out. They can introduce it at NRA and then take orders at NASGW and right. then show the refresh of that line yeah. at SHOT. And there's yep. companies that skip SHOT show altogether. I know Henry Rifle yep. does for one. A lot of them are, and a lot more are. And you'll notice that more and more of the big companies aren't going to media day on Monday. They're, they're renting private ranges and inviting the media out that they want to come out to cover their stuff because SHOT Show has turned into a mess for the companies themselves. I mean, think about media day. When the first time I went there, they had no controls on it, man. You could go out there with your best friend, your best friend's wife, your cousin, third removed. Uh, you just find some Joe off the street and get him in there with you. And they're all out there burning up the ammunition. These companies pay very real money for and maybe one out of a hundred people that actually pull the trigger on the ammo they have up there that are giving away is actually credentialed media that's actually going to do something to help them sell something mm -hmm. and so the companies are getting sick of it and they complain and they complain and they complain and every year they try to do media day slightly different and um it always turns they, out to be a big mess out. they're, they're only that? doing four hours media only and then the other four hours it's open to the buyers too so these jack wagons that are writing the fake orders that cancel them as soon as they get back to their office after attending right. shot are out there yeah. wasting the ammo just the same. Yeah. Like, yep. So we, we, a, we actually have a, um, a smaller company here, Walter from Safety Harbor Firearms. Walter. I thought we were having a Christmas party. This turned into, yeah, a, we are. This is, this turned this into is... a business meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hang out for Christmas <laughs> stuff. Yeah, that's that's what happens to Christmas parties, Walter. You no, they don't. Not the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> you go to shot show. Too, no good yeah. ones have this involved and stuff. Yeah, Jack Daniels. Exactly. You go to SHOT Show. Um, yeah. You know, you don't go to Media Day, but how was SHOT Show for you? It's okay. I mean, it, it, it's... It's just to show your stuff, basically. I mean, you know, I mean, you get thousands of people to walk by. They don't make, they don't sell thousands of guns. At least we don't. But no, most people it, don't. And you know, and but you, you do get people that have never seen your stuff. I, I've been doing it since two thousand three with the fifty cals, and every year there's new. I never seen your stuff. I never seen your stuff. So, oh yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's 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 like the world's biggest live catalog. Right. Right. It so is. in that in that respect, it's cool. It's expensive. It's Las Vegas. It would be nice if it go back and forth like it used to do between uh, maybe Orlando, or Las Vegas, maybe someplace else. Like they used to have it in New Orleans every once in a while. Yeah, they didn't doubt. And well, New Orleans ran them off, but yeah, <laughs> when they yeah. when they were suing the gun industry. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, but the bad part is if you if you give up your space, you're not going to get it back. Unfortunately, yeah. Well, Especially, you're not giving up much. I, I, yeah. You know, Something I, else needs to happen. Shot shows just because I, everybody I talk to, even the industry people, the people from the companies, I have yet to meet one person that goes, "Man, I'm looking forward to Shot Show. We're going to do so well there this year. This is amazing. This is the best time of the year for us." When's yeah. the last time you heard anybody in the industry say that? Never. Never ever heard. Goes, that. Oh, it's God, God, Shot I, Show. Shot I show. cannot wait to get out of here. Yeah. Shot show. Yeah. It's awful. It's terrible. So, like, um, and, and I wrote a blog post industry. like. I brought. I wrote a blog post like two years ago, and then you know, some of the other people in social media were criticizing me, like, "Oh, he's so pretentious, and he's just has, he's just too big for his britches." <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just saying what nobody else will say. Well, <laughs> yeah, no one likes going to shot. I swear to God, like, I don't have. I've never heard anybody say what you said. No one's like, yeah, no man, I'm really looking forward to shot show. It's all the only God, person. Shot show. That's you, it. you know, you know, the first time somebody's ever been to shot show, and they said, "I'm, I'm looking to shot show. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this, man. This is gonna be awesome." Yep. I was like, yeah, you've yep. never been yep. before. The new guy. Yep. And, um, and, okay. and, people, <laughs> and people go, what's your, what's your best advice for your first time at SHOT Show? And I always say, don't go. And if you don't go, make sure you take a good pair of walk-in shoes. Yeah. Yes. So you know what? Let's bring, up, 
let's bring up Sam here from Forge from Freedom. And, you know, Sam's yeah, in yeah. here. Uh, Sam, yeah. I know you've been to SHOT Show. You could talk about that. But also, I know you had some um, some some things that went down at, at, at the uh, at the at the shop today. I don't know if you want to talk about that. Please don't tell me my shirt um, machine burned down. <laughs> you and 22 Plinkster <laughs> ruined know, the machine. Right? <laughs> <laughs> broke the internet. Right. I've got I've got I've got your name Tim on one of the machines, right? And and it's, yeah. and and a label that says don't touch right next to it. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. oh, speaking of you're here now. I got the Christmas tree shirt on. Hey, hey, look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. I've had a couple of drinks now, so I might fall into the camera. So watch out. <laughs> then, then it'll be a Christmas I'm, party. It's supposed to be a Christmas party. Hey, so, Walt, hey, Walter, you never, you never told me you were going to buy one. I was just, just sent you one, man. Well, I did it. I did it that it. night when we were talking about this. My wife did it. Boom, boom, boom. So, you know. Yeah. Oh, uh, you, I, you don't have to pay for it. But well, I still got to talk to you anyway. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey Walter, just hey Walter, just one piece of advice because I just seen you've got all those lights around you. You might want to yeah. stay away from H two O. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I blow up. That's not the kind of ratings we want. <laughs> you look uh, like you, a you, Christmas you, alien. <laughs> you take it. You take it. You know. Hey, speaking of that, you see where the Navy they, the Navy put out this video of a of F fourteen or of F eighteen pilots following a UFO. Yes, I did see that. You think yeah. that's real? What? What? Yeah. Do you yep. think? Yeah, it's yeah. supposed to be real. Um, real stuff. Uh, well, they're all, okay, hey, all right. Let's go around. Who who believes in UFOs? Who believes in aliens? I do. Hey, oh, wait, 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 wait. That, wait. That's not. That's, that's a different not the, story. That's hey, not can the I question. Say it's not a UFO. That's not the question. Unidentified flying object. Yes, there are those. Do you all believe right. aliens are here? Do you believe aliens? Not are here? necessarily. No, not here. Not not yeah, yet. He's hosting a podcast right now. I mean, they're they're just, that, right now. They're just anal probing us. They want to make sure we're going to make good sex. He's leads. the guy with the fake thing on his head, and he's talking right. about <laughs> anal probing. Hey, <laughs> we, since we're speaking of uh, UFOs, like, wait now, Sam. Sam had the plot. Sam had the stage here, and we interrupted. Yeah. So. Okay. I think Mike wants to say something. Go ahead, Mike. No, no. I'm just saying. Um, about UFOs. Um, I honestly believe that the government has like the program and they're the ones flying the ufos and well what if it, you know one 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 program is flying something that the other program doesn't know they have that's what i think this oh, that's thing. a ufo yeah. too I, I, so. I think i think mike is is probably pretty close keep in mind guys the um the f-117 was flying in 1977 <laughs> yes. the prototype okay yes. yeah yeah, and they they didn't they didn't even publicly admit the thing existed until the late eighties or early nineties. Until, cr until one crashed. Early nineties. Until one crashed. Yeah, it's like early nineties. So they kept that thing hidden all the time. Now, when that triangular thing was flying over cities, I guarantee was, you, they yes. got a rash of UFO reports. Oh, okay, yeah. let me ask this question though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone and if they're question. flying that in nineteen seventy seven, what are they flying in twenty seventeen? That's like I've always said. If they once they re once they retired the um, SR seventy one, something replaced it. Well, okay. So let me ask oh, you guys yeah, this question: definitely. If the president, if Trump, if Trump goes on TV tomorrow morning and says that aliens exist and they are our overlords, do you go to work like regular? And I'm going to go one at a time, babyface. Do you go to work like a regular person the next day? Okay, so he gets on the he gets on TV, says <laughs> aliens exist, and they are in charge of everything we do. Yes. Hell oh. no. Okay. Hell no, Sam. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to because otherwise Tim would kick my ass. I got to ship all those. <laughs> yeah, you got to make a T-shirt about we gotta, it. We got to make alien T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. dude. So, Mike, um, I don't work, so my day consists of um, going to. So you, home, so you do, away. you do business as usual. Yeah, it, it's gonna be the same for me, regardless. Uh, okay, uh, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, nothing changes. I, I'm not, I don't care if it's aliens that are overlords or cats or dogs or. Like an army of Tims for Military Arms Channel. Like I, I don't, I'm, I'm still gonna break shit, man. You're gonna still request an alien gun to hit with a hammer in the back. Yeah. <laughs> nah, Let man, me like see I, a ray gun. I bet I get that phaser to fire. Yeah. It's a drop yeah. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Okay, you, I can break that. You want to see a jam and a light gun? I can do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Walter. Oh, you you skipped somebody. No, I no, I hit Patrick. He just said. Oh, well, I know, but you skipped the guy between me and Patrick. No, it's you. Oh, you're next. You're next. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're next. Um, that's a good question. Probably I might have a drink of Jack, and have to uh, sit on the front porch and assess the situation. Uh, Since the, hey, the only one of us who has armored vehicles, tanks, etc. I know, right? At his disposal. One must, one this must is what not, he says. And, and he's going to set this one out. 
Yeah, that's, that's, that's bad shit. shit. You, have to, <laughs> so, you have to do an assessment of the opposition before you attack. You're yeah, gonna, what the hell did you get all the armored up, vehicles and the rocket launchers for then? We're going to show up at Walter's place, and he's going to be hiding out in a ferret drinking whiskey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Walter, I, I got hey, to see what Mac – okay, Mac, what would you Mac. do? Mac, well, my, my, I would, I would still produce videos, except I'd become the military arms hunting aliens channel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would sit out in the woods. I would, I'd, I'd find the most effective alien bait. I would call them in and I'd shoot them and I'd mount them on my, my fireplace. <laughs> yeah. And then every Christmas, I put Christmas hats on them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I could tell. You. Would you make, would you make uh, alien sausage? I'd try, well, first, I, oh. first, I'd try the steaks. If they're, if they're truly disgusting, I'd just make them into sausage. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I uh, I will say that me and my friend Aaron have been trying to to uh, to invent alien bait, and we've tried several different iterations of it. All we're trying to do is to get them to land the spacecraft, because once we get the spacecraft on the ground, we're pretty sure we can take it over by force. And then <laughs> I have I have a spaceship. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Hey, What's your okay? When you get that spaceship, Mac, where where's your first stop? Come again? I don't so know, man. Up. I yeah. I, I want to find that planet that has the Amazonian women on it. I'm going to go there first. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, you want to get snoo snooed? Yeah, that, that's, huh? yeah snoo. that's completely opposite of what I thought dude, Mac was going to say. Hey, no, that's not fair. That's not fair, dude. Like you're you're a taller guy. That like that's more of an even playing field. Like me, I'm I'm just straight fucked. Yeah. So hey, Mac hey, wants hey, to hey, get snoo snoo to death. <laughs> hey Tim, we we gotta make we gotta make a variation of that. I have a machine gun T-shirt, but it just says. Now I have a spaceship. Ho, ho, ho. I have a, I, ho, 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 I have a UFO. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, that should be one of the attachments that you guys put to the AR, you know? Actually, you know what? I need to talk to uh, Forge from Freedom about this. One of my favorite comments that I got in the video I did uh, with the Honor Guard was, uh, I, I, I own a P320 and one of these. I'm not buying another gun until you and that damn hammer come with me to the gun store. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. We can, we can make a, a handgun safety testing kit and put it on a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. I like Brownell's hammer and, like, you know, a press case. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, All right, there it is. Sam, get busy. Handgun, handgun testing. Yeah. yeah. More t- yeah no, we're going to talk for sure, Sam. Like, more, I need to make that happen anyway. Yeah, more That's T-shirts funny. to be made. More T-shirts to be made so okay what are you guys doing let's go through here mac i don't know how much time you have left i know that the babies sound gotta, like they yeah i gotta get running the wife's gonna come okay. in. she sees me on a live stream she's gonna kill me oh yeah okay so what are you doing for christmas mac before you go oh we're just staying home man we're just gonna stay home and you know i have three kids and we're gonna have them open presents kick back drink some coffee and just kind of try to relax but it always turns into a big brawl yeah, kind of like what you're hearing right now <laughs> and uh <laughs> you know <laughs> and, and, and enjoy, enjoy Christmas with the kids fighting and stuff. Hopefully we get some snow and we can send them outside to play in the snow. Yeah, good times. I remember when my kids were that young, man. It's going to it's gonna go by real fast on you, so enjoy it. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. and uh, – Look at that little guy. Yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> he's, he's so serious. He is. Why so serious? He's listening. Uh, I mean, he's, he's listening. looking at a picture of a – Drunk, a guy drinking with lights around his neck and a Santa hat, and uh, he's like, Why are you he's dressed like, up as a bearded. Group? My dad has the, very weird friends. Yeah, yeah absolutely, no kidding. Uh, we look like this every day. This is America. This is America. <laughs> yeah, I think we've mentally twisted him. I don't think he'll pass a four four seven three form now. No, he'll never be the same. You know, when he grows up, he's going to be telling like you know he's going to recant it. He's going to go plug his brain into that machine that brings this all back up <laughs> i know right <laughs> the, the recaller yeah um, oh before you go tim i want to tell yeah. you what you missed out on in uh roswell dude uh we were getting consistent hits 80 percent hit ratios with a factory 338 lapua mag factory ammo at 2600 yards it was incredible. i saw i saw the pictures man you got i want to go out and do that next time you guys set something like that up give me a shout i'd love to drive down yeah, to sure, do that for sure dude it, yeah man, there, that's, such, that's awesome yeah is there such thing as a group at that distance or uh yeah <laughs> Uh, we were shooting about a minute and a half size group at that distance, more or less. Uh, That's maybe, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, oh. Twenty six hundred yards, though, man. That bullet's transonic, <laughs> man. Transonic. Yeah. That sounds like. Uh, that it goes, sounds like they need to have uh, their own special yeah. bathrooms. The like, bullet. I think uh, Frank, uh, Frank <laughs> said it went uh, trans at about eighteen hundred. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I learned something out the loophole. 
long range. Um, there's one of the instructors out there that uh, consistently hits a steel plate at one mile with a 308 shooting 175 SMKs. And I told him it was impossible and I was wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it, 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 because was... when the bullet goes transonic, the 168s are unpredictable. They go all over the place. But I learned that the 175 SMKs in certain rounds, oh, no. when they go transonic, will go, trans go transonic in a predictable way. And you can actually still use the weapon at that range. It's pretty cool. That, exactly. Yeah. yeah. If you're shooting something that's predictable through trans, you can shoot into subsonic in, in at yep. those extreme distances. And I'll bet, I you that. Money, I'll bet you money that that dude was using a fast twist barrel. I bet you he was using a one in nine and a half or one in 10 twist barrel. Maybe even I was gonna say one in 10. It's a one in 10. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's fast yeah. twist barrel. And he's spinning the crap out of that 175 green. Uh, okay. That's, Very cool. Yeah. Brian. Yep, that's cool stuff. Yeah, Brian Quick says, Mac, I know you're going right now. Uh, the child looks more serious than the actual adults dressed <laughs> up in electrical lights. <laughs> so, th yeah, thanks for coming on, man. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. And yeah. I just want to say one last thing, guys. It, it sucks. I know we're all laughing and joking around, but I think it really sucks for Honor Guard because it is a small business. Um, and so I, you know, I say we handle it delicately, but the, the public has to know if those guns are dangerous. Um, <laughs> It has to be addressed. It can't be ignored. I, I do feel sorry for him, but man, that's serious. I stuff. agree. I, I'm 100 yeah. so, with you, man. Like I don't yep. want to see. I don't want to see him burn down. I just want to see. Him nope. Fix it. Just fix it. Yep. All right. All right, guys. Thanks, Mac. We appreciate it, man. Take, Take care, care guys. Man. It's good to see you. All right. All right. Okay. And Take we care, have man. now Kevin Dixie's joined us. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Kevin, in a sweat. Look at that. Look at oh, all. Look at In a hotel, man. Oh, Where's what? Your, where's, you look so fancy. Are you in a hotel room? <laughs> yeah, I'm in a hotel room. I'm I'm out in the great um, city of Seattle, Washington, right now. So uh, well, I had to come out. You, know you know, I tell you know, I could tell those crappy drapes behind you. Mm -hmm. they <laughs> all have <laughs> yeah, this beautiful, beautiful yeah, stuff. Yeah, I I mean, yeah. I, I'm not even. I, I I could probably try to guess the hotel chain, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> no, um, give it a try. Give it. A, I'll let you know if you're right, Tim. Hampton Inn. Uh, Hampton Inn. Hampton Inn. Courtyard. I'm, I'm gonna go with Hampton Inn. No, I'm actually at the Hilton. Hilton. Oh, oh close. Uh, all right. Then they, uh... <laughs> the no, double all by Hilton. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, what's going on? See, y'all been on her. I, I'm sorry I could, um, I wanted to at least hop on once before the end of the year, but, you know, it's like three hours the other way, this way. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I had to get done with work. And, and uh, this Cheers, is mate. how you come on to our Christmas show, man. You are out of uniform. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you know, hey, I, I just, I was like, well, you know, I, if I would have known it was going to be a theme show, maybe I could have packed something in the suitcase. But you know, people don't tell me anything, so I wasn't aware. We talked about this. We had. The, I feel like the guy who came to the party, the only one that came to the party in a costume. First, hold on. First of all, first of all, what, what the hell do you have on? What is wrong with your face? Uh, what do you? This. Is, no. what, is, what is what? Running from somebody. He looks like this all the time. This is for safety reasons. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm gonna I'll... drive. I'm gonna drive my uh, my Audi home tonight like this. <laughs> if I get pulled I feel over, like you might get pulled over. <laughs> flashing lights on your head. Oh, oh, man. Man. I'm gonna try. It. I think I got this. Uh, my dang on laptop. Well, I just wanted to. Um, hey, hello to everyone on the panel, and Merry Christmas to all you guys in advance. Merry uh, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Hope all goes well with the families, and definitely to the the watchers out there, the viewers out there. Haven't talked to you guys since last week. Uh, appreciate all the love. Been getting a lot of support. And Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And um, don't come to Seattle in January or uh, December. Nasty. Um, and, and who are you looking at in the hotel room? Just out of curiosity. Oh, there's nobody in the hotel room. I heard a noise on the other side of this wall. So, yeah. you know, it's just a noise. Uh -huh. That's what you say now. <laughs> That's uh, what I'm sticking to. I'm, yeah, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to <laughs> You know something, man? Hank, we have like entirely ignored everyone in the live chat. They've all just been sitting here like staring at us through a little <laughs> Yeah, window. I know. We have to okay, let's That's take bad. questions. We were gonna ask people what their favorite episodes were. So let's find out from people what their favorite episodes were, as well as everyone here on the panel. Kevin Dixie, I don't know how much time mm -hmm. you have. But what was your yeah. favorite favorite episode? Man. favorite episode um i hate to be uh i don't i don't know man there's so many good ones um i would definitely say the one in remembrance that i can remember is my favorite just because it was pure honesty was the one with um uh the the one where uh, the rant came out of actually i was proud to say um anything with a rant in it's my favorite 
<laughs> no kidding. Okay. All of those. Shot. Everything would, would not even just ran, but uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with that because we got to pick favorites. So yeah, all that. All that. All the ones with Durant. Okay, cool. Let's see if anyone's telling us uh, what their favorite episode is. Okay, tell us in the chat what your favorite episode hey, hey, was. Hey, Kevin, have you seen the latest Elves uh, uh, rendition of us? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. I think I saw it um, yesterday. I was in an airport. Was it the day before? I think I was in an airport and I watched it. Uh, I literally, I should, I'm going to have to watch when I get tagged and things by certain people because I'm telling you, I was literally sitting there and I was having a drink. And I clicked on a video, you know, you just click and you see stuff, and like I spit it out over the board. Guy. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was an accident, but it was funny. Yeah, let's yeah. not show it because I showed those things yesterday, and YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, made a, like a copyright claim. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, of the yeah. music. Yeah. Okay. So we got a that's copyright claim. So I'm not. I'm, that's why I'm not going to show it for anyone who wants to know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's always like something with YouTube that nobody's got a sense of humor. And they're not happy with. So there you go. Okay, so let's go down. Um, let's start. Mike, do you have a favorite episode? Um, Don't be like Kevin and only choose ones that you're in it where you rant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the one um, that was, excuse uh, me, I was only involved in one rant. There was more than one rant no, that went not, on his show. That's not okay. true. You you yeah, ranted yeah. a lot of videos. The I, 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 there was a couple of them that I really did enjoy, but um. The one that I probably got the most enjoyment out of was the one that you did with um I'm not certain if I'm saying his name right, Voda Vada. Oh, that's the first <laughs> one, right? <laughs> oh, that's number one. Episode number one. one. God, no. Yeah, because you sat there, you was looking that at him, man. You, was like, you just like, oh my goodness, what did I get myself into? <laughs> you know? Hey, you know, I haven't even watched that one, but I don't I don't think I can, man. I think I'll probably like get sick or have diarrhea or something. Yeah. You, your head will explode. I know you <laughs> Dude, like I want you to invite him back and have me on here. I want to yell. <laughs> no, no. I think I think it's uh he's done the circuit and whatever. I think we have to try to move on from that, you know. Um, oh, I, I just wanted I wanted some of the fun too. No, like yeah. I, I'm, I'm curious. Did, did you think that like does does he like buy into his nonsense or? Um, it's hard to I tell. Think, Either oh, he's yeah. he's uh, doing it deliberately or he's crazy and he doesn't know what he's doing. So no, I think he oh, totally man. believes everything he says. 100%. Yeah, yeah. It's um the 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 worst one is if he 100 percent believes all that oh, stuff. So. I think he's yeah. Uh, Mr. Holster didn't get the idea of what we're talking about here. He says he likes the episode of Archer with Burt Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one too. I'm with you, buddy. Yeah, it's a I'm freaking awesome episode for sure, but that's not what we were talking about. <laughs> but no, that was a that was a that was a good one. Nine oh four likes the Jaeger rant. Okay. No, you got wound uh, up that freaking nine. That was uh, long. Time. That's trying to talk up, about me. That's that's pent up aggression. Okay. Well, I get it every once in a while, you know. Yeah, I blame it on pent up aggression. Um, so uh, Nitro Zoo seventy six says he likes Reed and Mister Guns and Gear shows. He likes those were good shows. Always fun when we have those guys on. Guns and Gear is a good dude. So is Reed. We've had him on twice. Um, Chris Elog says when K Katie started saying burls. <laughs> <laughs> What episode was that? We need to make that the Burl episode. We got to go back and find which one that was. The Burl. Yeah, if someone Burl. knows what it is, a Burl. Yeah, okay. that's what it is. It's a Burl. It yeah, I don't know how you guys get Burl. How do you say? You know how, how slow you have to go to say Barrel. Ba barrel. barrel. It's a Burl. What is it? It's a Burl. And now barrel. I say it all the time. Now you Burl. 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 You you yeah. in a business suit saying Burl. <laughs> I call myself the other day saying it, just in general conversation. Yeah, you've infected the world that's with right. your burl. That's that's you, right. Your, it burl, happens. your burl is giving out STDs at this point. Uh, <laughs> with right. that comes with speech impediment. Apparently, this STD comes with speech impediment, so it's some new stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> aside from uh, you know favorite episodes, guys, are, is anybody in the chat have any questions for people on the panel? Yeah, let's I feel see. bad uh, we've ignored you guys. I can a dark episode and say that that never happened because that is the best episode this year. What well, episode? The dark episode, the dark episode uh, is the best episode. <laughs> um, yeah, just, another one where I started getting making fun of. <laughs> yeah, Justin E said that Jaeger rant, even Yankee Marshall hated it. Um, Yankee Marshall was mad because he says he's the worst gun guy in the world. And he doesn't want anyone else, I guess, getting that. To move um, it in on his face. 
<laughs> yeah. So this is actually a comment if you go look on the video from Yankee oh, Marshall, yeah. Yeah. which I told him that he's in the top five. He's in the top five. So there you go. Uh, I got a question for Walter. Yes, sir. I'm still waiting to hear um, the best Christmas party you went to. <laughs> Let me think back a little bit here now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Pour some more Jack in that glass. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe the Christmas party you went to that there was weed. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was a Christmas party or not. Uh-oh. As I look back, you when, look you, yeah, when you look backwards, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Killy, uh, Peggy Killer Keller, don't come in the room right now. Hey, hey, I can, <laughs> hey, I can, I can answer that one for Walter. Go for it. It 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 involved uh, it involved uh, deer, monkeys, <laughs> and dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's going, what the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, no. oh, you missed this, Kevin. We were talking about this yesterday. There are some monkeys in Japan that have sex with the deer. Well, they don't have sex oh, wow. with the deer. What? They hop the deer's heads. Yeah. They're not like, you know. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 some, you, it's some female, some female monkeys. Like, yeah, are you so, telling me? So what you're saying is there are, let me get this right. There are Japanese monkeys that have sex with the heads of decapitated deers. No, no. <laughs> no where did you get that? Hey, hey Kevin. It sounds no, like what you just said. No, 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 no. Kevin, that's not that's not all. That's that's not the whole story. There's also horny horny dolphins involved. <laughs> yeah, How did the monkey get in the water with the dolphin? I don't no. know. Have to go look at yesterday's episode. Honestly. Oh, no. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Basically, right. there's these female Japanese monkeys that ride mm-hmm. on the back of deer. They don't care what sex the deer are. Mm-hmm. What was it? <laughs> it's female. Lola's trying to tell me something. The past Christmas party. Yeah. I. We were getting some questions in here. Yeah. Okay. If you get a question, let us know, Patrick. You let us know. Yeah. Walter, what was the uh, best party? Come I, I, on. I'm still, I got I'm one right now, man. I'm looking at it. <laughs> uh, my back hurt says he liked the video of Hank getting pulled over by the cops. Okay. That wasn't an episode. <laughs> that wasn't an episode. <laughs> and that is my least favorite video yeah. on my channel. <laughs> I, I do not like that video no. at all. No. Um, um, uh, classified hey, Hank, inf- part- classif- Hold on one second. Classified information said, let's eat. Eat lunch at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, Sam. I was gonna refer back to that video where you where you what got stopped and first and all that. You know the part where they had your hands over the hood, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and you were standing like that. I was half expecting one of the officers to take out a glove and put it on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, don't start. Don't start, Sam. Now there's gonna be memes of that. Oh dear! Uh, Somebody's gonna memeify that, and I won't be happy. Uh, <laughs> Christmas party. Um, oh, let's God. see who. Uh, so I'm everyone's still liking. Of, I'm still trying to think of that best Christmas party. I, I know it's hard to. I think I've uh, only been to like one real Christmas party. And in... all right, well, let's um next year let's cr- let's crash a military party. That'll probably be your best party after that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you an affirmative on that. Yeah, they they are good parties. So, which uh, branch of the military has like the wildest uh, Christmas parties? Uh, so it depends, man. Like, are we talking like a proper party or are we talking like barracks party? I would probably go with the Marine Corps guys. You know, they probably get a little wild. Yeah, Walter, your uh, camera. Uh, Walter's uh, camera is drunk. I was about to say yeah, your camera's drunk or something. I've, I've heard I've heard good things about Marine Corps parties. Uh, now the ones that get real interesting uh, because of the uh, like the history uh, behind it is cav parties. Uh, the the U.S. Army cavalry, yeah. like they do this weird wedding down process where you like drink grog out of a damn Stetson and all kinds of crazy stuff. Mm. But uh, I, I hear those are pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I have a friend that was in cavalry, and uh, yeah, he's batshit crazy. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> that would be Mister Yak Yes for anyone who remembers yeah. the old videos on my channel. Who's my buddy? Uh, he's not on the channel that much anymore because he moved to Jacksonville. What is but, this Delta Force does, but nobody's ever seen when they classified information is talking about? What? Oh. <laughs> oh, so now they're baiting you up. They're baiting you up, Kevin, to hit me up for a rifle yeah. in the chat. So let's let's, let's, <laughs> let's go that? ahead and do this since we're going to address comments in the chat. Now, Walter, I know you wouldn't lie to my sweet, precious baby girl. 
because she already <laughs> talked to you about it. Well, well, clearly that, you uh, about wait, it. hold on a second. What? This is not I'm just cut, saying. You're trying to so, cut in front of somebody. You're trying to cut in front of somebody. I don't care nothing about who I'm cutting in front of. So <laughs> what we're trying to do is get Walt. This is the idea. I want him to send me a fit that I'm going to get back. I'm not asking him for a free gun yet. Sure. It's not the right sure. time of year. Yeah, I'm yeah. Going to, I'm totally <laughs> <getting there. laughs> I'm going, I want him to send me a rifle for I can uh, basically do something cool in the snow in Missouri with a 50 Okay. And okay. so that's what I want to do. Well, as long as you don't make it into a snow angel and pee. Okay. Anyways. I don't, I don't pee on guns. I'm not Antifa. I don't do that. Yellow yeah, 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 yeah. snow or something. Does he know? look like Ara Kelly to you? <laughs> I don't. Uh, no. Oh, wow. I think he looks oh, like. Peggy, Toast, uh, right? Hey, Walter, I say this gently. I just want you to look in the comments. So when I do what Peggy just told me to do, oh, don't I go after me, man. Yeah, Peggy Killer Keller says, Kevin, you still have not called me. And then she gave like the sexy wink. <laughs> wink. Hey, to Kevin. So, okay. I'm just I saying. I told you what. Hey, I don't mess. I don't mess with any man's wife, but especially a man. I got a damn tank. I can't even shoot back at him. So no, <laughs> no problems here, sir. Uh, Hank, I'll say Method Man, not R. Kelly, but Method Man. Oh, uh, Method Man was who? Method Man was peeing on someone. I know R. Kelly no, did it. No, no, you said that uh, the Kevin looked like um, R. Kelly, and I said no, not R. Kelly, but Method Man. Oh no, 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 because we were talking about Kevin peeing on a gun. Well, you know, you, you write your name with the P in the snow, I guess, you know, I, yeah, I, yeah. You know, but I was so. trying to get off the P, the P. Yeah. <laughs> what I was, what I was trying to do, what I see, what I was trying to do is figure out, and you know, there are some people out there that are more artistic than I am and more creative. Um, what I want is somebody's going to try to steal this idea, but you heard it here don't first. Say it okay? Don't say it out loud. If don't say it. Don't think I should yeah, say you it. You know what? You do look like everyone. People are seconding the fact that you look like Method Man. 904 says he's asking for a free gun also. No, no, I know. was asking for a free gun to keep. See, I don't want a free gun to keep. Oh, okay. I'm going to well, send it back. Well, maybe you can sign it and it will sell it. Yeah, David Wright says he wants too? Walter to pay for his. He doesn't want a free one. He just wants Walter to pay for it. Oh, him. bless his heart. Bless his heart. Go ahead. I mean, I got, I got, we got a little time. Our snow hasn't hit yet, so you got a little time, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. We, we were talking about wild January. Christmas. We were talking about wild Christmas parties. I remember like going to Christmas parties with one date and leaving with another date. Oh, that's oh, you. Uh, is oh, that man. is that a violation? No. Hey, yeah, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tap out here. All right. <laughs> oh, you're out? Are you really out? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm about to be uh, really out. Or uh, are you just feeling guilty right now? <laughs> no, 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 not even, uh, not even sort of. I feel, well, no, I do feel guilty. I feel guilty that I've been like ignoring these people. Okay, what's the question? What questions do you want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I see some dude, uh, Ben Farrell, has been asking over and over and over and over again why I quit TFB. Oh, we talked? Uh, I know, we kind of talked about it, yeah. Uh, so I mean, I'm just gonna refer him to go back in the chat, so he can stop asking the same damn questions. Oh, <laughs> oh, you just yeah. you just poked him really hard. Ah. Okay, uh, best Christmas yeah. party. I, I um, you know, somebody said I was too drunk to remember the Christmas party. That's not true either. <laughs> uh, that's not true either. Um, I don't know. You know, it's hard. It's hard. It's oh gosh. There's been some other parties. I don't know if they were actually Christmas parties that were pretty fun. Uh, but it usually involved me like a, a bottle of something or a six pack of this or that or <laughs> and, and some conversation and you know a little bit of um yeah personal Look, interaction. Keep but, looking um, over that shoulder, Walter. That'll help you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this is way before my wife. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. go ahead. Keep doing it. <laughs> sorry, she's only watching right now. No, that's okay. She can. The watch SmackDown that. is about to be on. That was pre Peggy. Um, nothing goes on now. That's with her. Um, uh -huh. That's good. Clean it up. Keep it clean. Yeah. No, no, we got to keep it on straight and narrow. So, gentlemen, I do believe. Oh, oh, yeah. I said I was going to talk about the P10C, wasn't I? Yeah, go ahead. Hit us up. <laughs> I did say that at some point earlier and then entirely ignored it. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, P10C has gone back to uh, CZ, uh, the pin that holds the uh, magazine catch assembly on the inside of the frame is a little bit on the loose side. It actually fell out when I was shooting hot loads, uh, support hand at like a 45 degree angle. Uh, 
locked the gun up whenever it ran out of ammo. So oh. uh, it's, it's back in the hands of CZ right now. I don't oh. think it's a widespread problem, uh, but it is an issue with my example. How many rounds are you up to? Uh, I stopped at 2100. I had to fix it in the field. I found the spring that holds the, uh, the thing in there uh, once. The second time the pin fell out, I had to try to fix it <clears throat> with like the spring out of a big lighter, and it didn't work so well. Uh, so like, uh, <laughs> I, I stopped at 2100, uh, and that, that's where I'm kind of putting, it, uh, putting the brakes on it. So I've got uh, 3,000 rounds left in the test cycle. I'm going to be picking up the FN509 this coming week. Oh, okay. We're, yeah. we're be that. Know what like, about that one. Will it be your uh, Will it be your first time shooting a 509? No, man. Um, I actually got introduced to the to the 509 at shot last year. They okay. had like a uh, closed doors like media event where they were talking about. Uh, you know, given the high points of it and then uh, give us an embargo date of whenever the hell it was. I dropped the video, but I've, I've, I've had one in my possession since like February of this year, okay. late, late February, something like that. Okay, okay. cool. All right. Um, okay. I don't know if there are any other questions. Uh, no, I'll have to think about it. Yeah. I'll have to report yeah. back on the Christmas party thing. I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You go ahead and you go ahead and try to sort that out in your mind and make sure you filter out everything that is going to incriminate you because I know that's that's why you're not answering this. Okay, Goodbye. Patrick, are you out of here? Yeah. You're out of here. I'm out of here. I'm hungry. Okay. I've got to go do some work that pays All right, my man. Uh, hey, Patrick, take care. Thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for on coming here. on, man. We appreciate right, man. it. Please, everyone, go check Peace out up. Patrick's channel. Yes, it's Firearm Rack. Rack. You can do that uh, right here. It is youtube.com slash Firearm rack now. It's not any bullshit like Cheese McQueen. It is firearm rack. And then uh, right there is my Instagram. I put cool shit on there all the time. Okay. Thanks for coming by, man. Happy, uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, yep, brother. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Peace same to all you guys. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Peace. Okay. All right. Peace. See you guys. Bye. See ya. Okay. Take I care. think we're, I think we're going to get the Tyvon show to come on. Um, since this is the last one, you know, it's, it's a party. People are coming in and out. I know we're going a little bit over time. Are there any other things we well, forgot we were, to talk We were talking about? so much business earlier. It was like a regular old show, you know? I was like, oh, I know it's breaking news, so I couldn't interrupt the breaking news. That's not fair for me to even. No, no, I understand. Uh, what, was, what was it you wanted to talk about? No, what? just general. Like I said, I brought the thing up about the party and stuff, you know? I mean, everybody's got a, a or, or the worst experience you've had with like a family kind of a, event, you know, or. Or things like that. You know, there's always good stuff at Christmas, you know. People get together, don't see each other very often, and things get said. And, you know, people, you learn things about people and you know, all kind of good stuff, you know. Oh. Well, ho, 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 What's ho, up, mofo? Merry Christmas! <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas, Typhon. What's Merry going on, man? Uh, I just wanted to jump in for the last couple minutes and just say, hey, hey, Merry Christmas. I'm in D.C. It's warm, and I wish that people would stop shopping so I could go deliver our base coal. <laughs> what do you got? Okay. Okay. I, uh, I, I'm I'm hauling a bunch of coal for all you dirty bastards out there. Coal. 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 If you're a bad boy, you get a chunk of coal. For oh, 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 I don't. I, I, never, I, I ain't never it. seen one of those things, so I wouldn't know what you're talking about. Uh, oh, I fed extras water. Don't worry, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll take care of me, right? The whole world is getting coal. Getting cold. Yeah. What's uh? What's people's Everybody. here? This is an easy question. What's everyone's favorite Christmas movie? Go ahead, type in. You oh, start. Oh God, this is gonna be a long show. Uh, I liked all the Chevy Chases uh, Christmas <laughs> movies. Um, those are good. Those are good. Nice choice of movies. All, the... all of them. Choice of yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the choicest boobies. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's see who we go to. Sam, what was your favorite? What's your favorite? Why do I have a Christmas movie? <clears throat> My favorite Christmas movie, um, it has got to be The Good Old Great Escape. Great Escape. Okay, interesting, interesting one. Um, do they play that in England a lot? I mean, I can't remember if they played that a the lot when escape? I was there. Yeah, The Great Escape. I, I don't yeah, know. I mean, it's it's. I think it's a European movie, um, but you know, it's the one with Steve McQueen and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, and what's his name? Uh, I forget his name. Yeah, um, but uh, that's probably you know one of my all time favorites. Yeah, because awesome. um, the whole the whole story takes well, it, I mean it's it's based on a true story, but it takes you know it takes uh, it happens around Christmas and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, uh, 
Yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's uh, it's about POWs in World War Two, and how they um, how they try and break out and stuff like that. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, Legally concealed TX says he's in the right place to deliver coal. DC uh, <laughs> nine oh four says a Christmas story. Uh, lots of people are saying. Uh, let me see. I'm getting Gremlins, Die Hard. Uh, mm. David Wright wants a link but, to get in. Okay, so someone that's up to Lola. Lola, if you have a link, let David Wright in. Yeah, I think uh, Elf was a good one. That that's one that will go down in history. Um, <laughs> what about someone says? What which one? Elf was that comedian guy. I can't remember his name off. Oh, Elf, Elf. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, Jake um, Arnold says, "What about Bad Santa?" <laughs> uh, another one for Die Hard, Kentucky Firearms Network, Die Hard. Music lover says the first Matrix. I don't remember any kind of Christmassy stuff in there. Uh, Could be wrong though. Die. We're getting a lot of Die Hards, Christmas Story, hmm. Bad Santa Two. <laughs> uh, music lover said it's Will Ferrell that was in Elf. So let's see, Babyface, yeah. what's your favorite Christmas? The year without Santa Claus. Is that one of those uh, claymations from like the sixties or seventies? I don't think I've ever saw that one. Yeah, oh my god, it's, it's, it's with like uh, the same same guys that made like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Uh, yeah, yeah, those little, little claymation yeah. ones. Oh, yeah, love. Yeah. Okay, I'm that's go, pretty I'm good. Gonna, I'm gonna go with Rudolph. You know, it's not a movie, yeah. but you know, it's, it's the, uh, the year without Santa was the one that had the heat miser and the snow miser. Yeah. Anybody remember that? Yeah. Oh. Favorite, absolutely. Marley and I watched it the other night. Absolutely. Yeah. Nine oh four says jingle all the way, Arnold. Uh. Okay. Jing, jingle bell, shotgun shell, Santa Claus is dead. He tried to steal my teddy bear, and I shot him in the head. <laughs> okay. Uh, on that note, Kevin, <laughs> what's your wow. favorite? <laughs> um, I, w- I would kind of say it's a, it's the time, man. The claymations, I'm, I'm with Babyface on all the claymations, rock. But my favorite uh, movie, movie, movie is gonna be Die Hard for Christmas, man. It's just something about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, that's one everyone watches every Christmas. Right? Up the drunken reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, cool. Let's see. Um, Chad Patrick said Merry Xmas, Patrick. So there you go. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone said Lethal Weapon. Chris Kellogg said Home Alone. Home Alone's classic. Oh, yeah. Home Alone. I forgot yeah, about that. that. Yeah. Yeah. My, my back hurts says Heat. <laughs> oh, my God. Heat? Seriously? That's like a... That movie yeah. is... is Home that Alone. Did that take place during Christmas? Heat? Interesting. I don't know. Thomas Cooper Smith says The Polar Express. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's go. Uh, Vanessa Kitty said John Wick. So, Mike, what's your what's your favorite Christmas movie? You Are the Grinch. Are you yeah. going to say oh, the, Grinch? the Grinch? Man, the Grinch stole Christmas. Nah, you know, I really don't watch t- too much TV like that. Um, he's a cool guy. So I'll watch something with shooting. So it's always like the Army sniper competition or <laughs> Mad <Matt Cole laughs> Series. Really? Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm being for real. I'm being for Are you real. for like, real? Are you for serious I'm, right now? I'm, be, I'm serious as a heart attack. I don't watch TV <laughs> like that, especially like this time of the year. Okay. Um, but the last Christmas movie I actually seen, but I watched it in the summertime. Um, it was the one with Chris Brown was in it when they had the family. Um, I forgot the name of it. Chris Brown, the singer. Yeah, Chris mm-hmm. Brown. He was he was in this movie. Um, uh, Thanks. Anybody told you you I, look like that uh, that USF wrestler, Kimbo Slice? <laughs> yeah, I've heard me? that before. No, me, uh, me, me. Oh. I, when I wear the black oh. version of this, I I specifically hear that all the time. There's one of these that's all blacked out. So yeah, I hear that. Uh, hey, 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 Mike, I need to know. I need you to give me your address. I need a pen because I'm gonna mail you a damn hook. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Wrong with you? No, I'm <laughs> mail you a hug, man. This Christmas. That's the name of it. I just looked it up. The name of it is called This Christmas. But like uh, I said, I'm watching it in the summertime. But normally, I'm watching like a shooting I'm video uh, on Christmas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> someone said, uh, "It's a Wonderful Life." Uh, Screaming Skull Saloon says, I'm going to say Hank, uh, I'm going to say Coming to America. I watch a bunch of Christmas movies. I actually like The Grinch That Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. Uh, I love The Grinch. I yeah. like that movie, and I think some of the who's it in there are kind of sexy. So Yeah, you know. Yeah. Some of the who's it's or what's it or whatever they're called. <laughs> in there. Uh, so, um, I like that. Yeah. I think it's funny. Uh, Santa <laughs> Claus, I watch all the Santa Claus movies, so 
The, San- the Santa Claus. Yeah, the Santa Claus movie. So I hey, watched those. What's up? Have you seen uh, Sydney Lou Who grown up now? No. Is she a hottie? Oh, you should go look her up. Oh, uh oh. I'm sure. You know, the baby oh, face is always over there quiet doing yeah, the weird thing. You're, you're fine. Who is it? Who is it? The girl that played Cindy Lou Who in the Grinch movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, growing up, she's she's a hottie. Hottie? <laughs> yeah. So, also, a really good Christmas movie that I like is Scrooged. Scrooged is a good Christmas movie. Uh, Crumpus is good too. You seen a uh, oh, Christmas movie? Never seen that. No, Crumpus. You gotta watch Crumpus, man. That is. Funny. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is. Oh that yeah. Is, there you go. There you go. Some, in chat for you. Uh, I try to watch Crumpus with Lola. Lola does not like horror movies. <laughs> that was, oh, that was hello. good. Hello there. Oh, you gotta let her watch Summer Slumber Party Massacre one through twelve. Oh dear. Awesome. What? <laughs> one through twelve. One through twelve. Is Jimmy Lee Curtis enough? You you guys do know what I what I what I call Tyvin, right? What's what do that? you call Tyvin? What do you Tyvin, call I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to get you, but no, Tyvin. Tyvin is literally the Meg of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the what? You're the Meg of the show. Shut up, Tyvin. Hey, it's gonna be there. <laughs> hey, you know you know what? When I see Kevin, I remember this great, huge, great big Christmas Carol. It went like this. Uh, was that um? Oh, don't mess it up now. Oh, you're, you're losing the joke, Tyvin. You're losing it. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it yeah. is. There it is. There it is. Uh, shit, now I had it. <laughs> it uh, seriously, Tyvin, you're getting thrown off your back. Don't mess with Tyvin. He can't remember. a big, massive tractor trailer. He will run you over. Oh, that's it. Oh, well, uh, well, dead well, eye. Here it is. Here it is. Dead eye of the Western cowboy had a very shiny gun. And if you ever saw it, you would turn around and run. All of the other cowboys used to laugh and call him names. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, the mayor came to say, Jedi, with your gun so bright, won't you shoot my wife tonight? Then all the other Tyvin, cowboys used to laugh and clean. I don't know where this, this is going. Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Tyvin, why I call you. you I, I hope you're not drinking and driving, Tyvin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope not hey, it was my my honor and goal to sing on a how, uh, Hank Strange Who Moved My Freedom podcast. <laughs> I'm, it's glorious. <laughs> we appreciate it. I think <laughs> everybody oh, give man. two thumbs up in the comments. Come on, yeah, I, I made my debut. We should get some thumbs ups just for that. We got 160 <laughs> thumbs up. What's up? Oh, really yeah. nice. Okay, very yeah. cool. All right. So, what other points of business? Green is their movies. Movie? Uh, business, 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 uh, business. There was some. Uh, oh, you know what I found? It's interesting. So, you know, wherever I go, I try to uh, collect data from people. So today, I got a chance to visit the original Starbucks, or like kind of go about it. Oh, awesome. And um, got to go see, like, you know, the, the Space Needle and all this cool stuff downtown. <laughs> so while I was here, one thing that I got reminded of is that uh, marijuana is legal in the, uh, the state of Washington. To yeah. do. So I decided to uh, have a conversation with someone and just sparked up a friendly conversation. You know, they asked me where I was from. We talked. And I said, hey, got a question for you. Do you uh, shoot guns? It's like, no, nah, man, them things, you know, you got to be too careful. I don't have time. I was like, well, oh, let me ask you another question. Do you take advantage of your steak's right to smoke weed? He was like, well, yeah. I said, would you do them both? He's like, so if I could I smoke weed and shoot a gun? I said, yeah. Could you, would you do them both if you could? He's like, if they told me that I, if, if I had to smoke weed, he said, if I had to smoke weed in order to get my right to carry, I would smoke weed to carry a gun. I said, okay. But you wouldn't carry a gun otherwise. Dude's like, no, nah, but if somebody said that I could, that you had to smoke weed and then I would carry a gun if I had to smoke weed, I would. So in the state of Washington, at least one of the residents believe that um, marijuana is more important than your right to carry. But he would carry if you made if you uh, would let him smoke marijuana. Oh, my gosh. OK. Uh, yeah, it was. You should have seen. You should have seen. Crazy. It was interesting. That's crazy. Uh, hey, you know what? I want sh- to w- go ahead. What's that? I was going to say Easter zone, I guess. Yeah, I want to share something with you guys. This is something that I got for Christmas from guess where? Brownell. Brownell sent me this uh, Christmas stocking over here, Uh-oh. Um, which is pretty cool. And there's a bunch of there's a couple of things in there. I'm going to show you guys. And as you can see, this is all from uh, the Bureau of Propaganda. The Bureau of Propaganda. This is uh, well, this. What is this thing? I got it upside it down. It is called Post Workout Coffee Scrub. What? There you go. I don't know. I'm guessing you wash yourself in this after the workout. 
Can you smell like coffee? Like a, is that like a cat bath or something? Uh, or I have no idea. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this. Lola would probably like this because, know you know, or if she would probably like if I use this because she likes coffee. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> post coffee scrub. But there's a bunch wow. of other things that, that came in there. Um, some of them come from, from actually from fight soap. So let's go through, see what's in there. Gear spray. And what does that do? There you go. Gear yeah. spray. Targets odor causing bacteria. <laughs> that makes your nuts stink. Uh, so that, yeah, is that um, like is that like Febreze for your armpits? What yeah, yeah, I don't Febreze understand that. Here. Like, yeah, that, mm, that's weird. That's interesting. I would have I would have just sprayed that on my guns and messed everything up. <laughs> so what's this one? Uh, Fatali. This one's called Fatali conditioning spray. What the hell? So there you go, Fatali. Conditioning spray. <laughs> this is all bath stuff, I'm guessing. Oh, so, so let's the... see. Let's see what's in here. This little thing, ultimate shower gel, 100% <laughs> paraben free. I don't even know what a paraben. Paraben is, is a <laughs> chemical. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there you go. Shower, shower, some kind of shower gel is in it's, there. It's all, it's all mark. It's all packaged for the, the yeah, propaganda. It's, yeah, it's yeah. all for Isn't the propaganda. Isn't that AKA uh, bath salts? Uh, um, no, I don't know. No. Um, here, this one I might actually need. It's called Warbeard. <laughs> there you go, Warbeard. So is it like Warbeard? Warbeard. There you go. This is the Warbeard for the, you know, oh. I don't know if you guys could see that. It says uh, the you... unrefined beard bomb. I think you have your Warbeard on right now. Yeah, it's got. this is for the <laughs> Warbeard. So there you go. Uh, I don't know if you guys could read it. Maybe you could read it there. Oh. Warbeard, that's for the that's... beard. You don't even have a beard. <laughs> I do have a beard. Wait, don't you see my beard right now? Man, don't be don't be hating. <laughs> well, um, okay. hating. So body yeah, armor okay. combat sanitizer. <laughs> oh dear. These guys are trying to tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are trying to send a message. Hey, y'all y'all seen uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, right? Yes. The, 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 you know, you know what Hank looks like right now? He looks like Yukon Jack. Is it Yukon Jack, that one character that hangs out with the Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, with um with the abominable dude, you know? He looks the like the abominable snowman. Yukon Jack yeah, had that in his antlers. Or Yukon something so. or other, yeah. I don't think so. I think I look pretty damn sexy right now. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, when you go to that Furby's when you go to that Furby's thing it is, yeah, I yeah. guess, yeah. The final <laughs> one is the Bureau of Propaganda soap, and this is all from Fight Soap. Ah. This is from Fight Soap, so there you go. a lot of money on this stuff, there. man. Yeah, and the sock. This is like a gun sock, so you can put a gun in it. Do we want to actually show some guns on this episode? I know we're, we're wrapping it up. You guys yeah, want to show I some guns? Yeah, I don't know, man. No? And no one has guns? Kevin. Same gun uh, last night. Belt, uh, Bill. Oh, Kevin definitely doesn't have No, he's in leftist heaven oh, he's now. in he Washington, so he doesn't Kevin, you <laughs> said you were out there in Washington. Was you around the bus that derailed out there? Uh oh. The train, um, the train? No, I was. Um, can you guys see me? No, no you disappeared for a You dropped out, man. There you All go. Right now, there showing you. the sexiest gun in the world. Right now, the ugliest <laughs> gun in the world. Yeah. So go ahead. Am you're I? Back, am I back, back on? You're there. Yeah. You're okay. There. So um, no, that that train. Um, you know, it's funny because when I got here, I'm like, you know, new city. I'm gonna get out and explore. And I got in my room and I turned on the TV <laughs> and I saw the train derailed. It's like. 20 minutes from where I'm at, uh, but the train derailed and uh, it was raining. And it was like thunderstorms and three people died because the train jumped the tracks. It's like, I'm just going to stay in my room. El <laughs> <laughs> Jefe wants to know what you're doing in Seattle. Uh, not trying to be like, um, yeah, not, yeah, kind of can. Yeah, just say I that, would love yeah. to, but I can't tell you. Oh, yeah, okay. if, if he tells you, he will have to kill, kill you. <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> so what do you guys let's go down real quick and then we can wrap this up. What do you guys think of the FS two thousand? Ugly. I, I Ugly. Yeah. Ugly. I did a, well um I need to shoot it. I want to see how it shoots. Yeah, okay, you'll be able to shoot it. I got this one from Tony. The other night when we were talking about ugly guns and I said the FS two thousand's really ugly, and he happened mm -hmm. to be walking in at that moment and he was heartbroken. Because <laughs> he'd already bought this and uh it came but it's cool that he has it in his collection, I think. I would love to have a, you know, I like bullpups. That's what I put in my collection. You know, you, you it don't matter how ugly it is, as long as it's full auto, nobody looks uh, at it. 
Uh, yeah, this one's not full auto. So, well, you yeah. gotta give you gotta give ugly guns love too, just like you give. Well, anyways, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we love <laughs> <Lee. laughs> Yeah. Dumb, Walter, cripple, Walter. dumb, cripple, and crazy. <laughs> called a moped, Walter. What's that? Yeah. And it's called a moped. Ah, uh, okay. It's fun to ride, but you never see you let your friends see you riding it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's a bastard. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. I never heard that before. That's oh, hey, that's, oh, hey, you oh, know what? Oh, hey, you need to get oh, man, Tell Sam right there. He needs to make a T-shirt of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yes, yeah, Sam, you're not going to run out of uh, T-shirt ideas. What do you think about the FS2000, Sam? Oh, I don't know much about it. Uh, I mean, I've do watched the like videos and stuff. Are you not a bullpup guy? Oh, oh yeah, I've, I, I like bull. I got a couple myself. But... Yeah. Oh, by the way, Sam, you should really try the Monte Cristo Platinum. Um, it's an excellent cigar, about the six or what eight inch uh, ring. Okay. Yeah, I Lola have wants like... me to get out the propaganda soap. Go ahead, guys. What do you want to what? Yeah. Go what, ahead, what? Sam. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, I have tried it. It's a pretty good cigar. Yes, they are. Um, little Havana over there. Um, there's actually a weekly show. Um, I have a guy down there. He done does uh, liquor and cigars, and they've got a little place over there that he sells them. Um, and then when my old man comes up up from Belize, I tell him, I said, you can't stop by my house unless you bring a couple of them Honduras with you. Right, Cubans. Yeah. You are right. The other night, the Cubans are definitely overrated. Um, the Lola's, tobacco Lola's industry went down in there, and they uh, upgraded the farms down there in Nicaragua and in Honduras. Oh, they actually whoa, went in second, and critiqued the tobacco. Hold on a second. Man. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Man. Um, that. Um, Just don't that. let it go. Let it go. Let it go. That's, let it go. that's, that's, that's <laughs> not how you pronounce it, Tyman. That's not how you pronounce it. <laughs> What? <laughs> We're not gonna let that. I cannot let that pass, Simon. We got like you know, I gotta, not 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 three other brothers on the show right let now. It go. <laughs> what? I didn't say anything inappropriate. <laughs> really? It's I said Nicaragua. Man, I told you. Say, well, Simon. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Yeah. Nica. Nica. Yeah. N I C. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. That's what I said. <laughs> It was Nicaragua. Yeah. Nicaragua. <laughs> oh my lord! Oh lord! Okay. I heard it too, but I just let it go right up. Yeah. I, I, let's not. Let's well, I apologize if I said the name incorrectly. That's not what I was insinuating. No, no, oh, time and relax. We're just joking with it's you, big damn. Okay. No, it's funny. Damn. Good. So, time okay, you, you, you make. Go can ahead. I ask, can I ask a question? So your, your dad lives in Belize. Yeah, he lives down there in Belize, down in uh, just north of Placentia. Placentia. Oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> I like. <laughs> now we're just gonna laugh at everything that that uh, time it pronounces. So anyhow, they went down and they farmed out the tobacco down there, and uh, Honduras and all those have gotten really upgraded their tobacco. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The, the the Cuban cigars have really went downhill over the last fifteen years. Oh, yeah. So you're saying like the Honduran to, um, tobacco is coming up? Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah yeah! Yeah, that was one of my favorite places that I've been, man. Uh, Honduras, love that place. Yeah, I, I like. Believe, the, I like hey, can I tell you about something? I got robbed for a cigar down there. <laughs> I got robbed. Robbed? For yeah, a I got, cigar? I got, I got, I got. Well, I got, I got robbed for my money for a cigar. So I don't really, I don't really smoke as. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna say this real quick, and for two reasons. Um, um, uh, Sam. Sam, I'm with you, brother. You okay? No, I, I got much love for you, man. But you, you don't, you can't come back home, okay? Because <laughs> I was supposed to be the first person. First of all, you disrespect me with the beard. That's that's number one. Then you decorate your beard. That's number two. I'm, I'm trying. And to then hide you, it. yeah, to uh, hide it. sure you are. And then you, de then you come on here smoking a stogie. All right. So <laughs> you stole one of my ideas, and you're trying to shame beard shame me. I'm not appreciating this. Just Boy, and, that's my. And you the, know, but he, he redeemed himself because he's drinking Jack Daniels, so he's good to go. So there you go. <laughs> right here, look. Right yeah, here. Sammy's there you go, all in this. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll give him for the Jack. But I was, I was down in um, Honduras when I did. Um, I was doing a little video down there, and a dude walked up to him. You know, the dudes be peddling, you know, running around selling stuff. So yeah. because I had never smoked a cigar before, but I said the first time I smoked a cigar, I wanted to be on the deck of a ship with a with a drink and a cigar. Right? That's my that's my vision. 
Right. So I get down there and the dude like sells me like this Cuban cigar, right? Or supposed to be. And I'm like, uh, wow, this is a pretty cheap cigar. Uh, it only cost me like six bucks. This is a uh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it tasted like old recycled um uh toilet paper and um uh, a child's uh, nightmares. Yeah, and it, it was like horrible. <laughs> but I, I thought that's, that's what, what a cigar, Cuban that's was. What a cigar is. It, it it was, it, but no, then I had a real Cuban cigar. And I found out that a little bitty one cost you like thirty bucks, and I was like, "Okay, now this must be the this must be the uh, real thing." You still, you still got cool. robbed, dude. You still got robbed. You no, can buy a buy that cigar one. down there for like no. six bucks, six ten at that. the most. Go ahead, Meg. Meg, I didn't buy that one. I just I okay. just puffed off. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm not trying to one up you, but when I was in Honduras, I was actually dancing with Miss Honduras. What you're saying? It happened. <laughs> At the time he was sleeping in uh, in his hotel room. Was- no, this, <laughs> no, this is no, that's for reals. I actually, I actually went to a party, and I was like dancing with. Mr. Was it Andrew. a Christmas party? No, it wasn't a Christmas party. Oh. Uh, I I was there for uh, I was in Honduras to celebrate the Garifuna people, which is like a, a tribe of Africans that were slaves, yeah, and then yeah. they got their freedom on the ship, and then they went to live in, in different places, including Honduras. And I think it was their centennial celebration or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I was like hanging out with some dignitaries at a party in Honduras. And there was Miss Honduras there that was competing in the uh, Miss Universe thing. And I was like chilling. <laughs> See, you know. All right. Hank Strange I'm wasn't always the... you, Hank. Oh, boy. Oh, and <laughs> uh, Jennifer Lopez told me I had beautiful eyes. Oh, <laughs> 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 okay. That does. That does. That does beat my story. <laughs> <laughs> so and what did, you say, did you say, and you have a beautiful booty? There you I go. Was that's checking a- it out. Was, all right. So the story was, um, you know, she was with Ben Affleck at this time. And I was stationed at um, Fort Stewart in Georgia. And um, Ben Affleck owned a house there in, um, in the Georgia area, like near the beach. So we, um, it was a group of us. We went up to um, Best Buy. And when we was there... I realized something was acting funny at the door, like people wasn't coming in like they normally would. And then all of a sudden, I was like sitting there looking at CDs, and she was just standing right next to me. And <laughs> we, yeah, we sat there, we talked for like about two minutes, and then um, Ben Affleck he came up to her behind her and kissed her, and was like, "Hey, babe, you ready to go? We gotta go." And she was like, "Okay, I was just sitting here talking to Mister," and I was like, "Mike, nice to meet you, Ben." Like that, and I said, "Y'all have a nice day." And then right before she stepped off, she was like, has anybody ever told you you had beautiful eyes? Like and I just Damn. blushed and I was like, thank you. <laughs> so basically, so Ben Affleck. Yeah. I'm going to hunt for yeah. Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, Ben <laughs> the Affleck blush wouldn't blocked you. The yeah. blush wasn't the only uh, physical reaction he had, I'm sure. Hey, hey man. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm just to watch right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, and they're trained right on your booty as you walk off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, cool. All right, so let's see. What else are we talking about here? Uh, they can't uh, beat that one. That story. No, no, we can't. No, we can't beat that. That's yeah. the tops. Yeah, you know, that's I've been the tops there. Tops. Now I can tell you. That, that's that's the <laughs> queen booty right there. <laughs> Nobody beats that booty. Ah, she's overrated. Mm, not the booty. <laughs> The booty is not overrated. Jennifer Lopez is still kicking it. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. well, Jenny from the block. All right. So let's see. Do we have? Do we have? At this point, stories don't even matter. Nope. That one got. Yeah. You know, stories don't even matter now. Um. One out of the water. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Well, hey, I don't mean to be rude, guys. I've got to jump out. I'm pulling into my Baltimore uh, yard here. So right. ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, everybody. Y'all be careful. Be safe in, in the new year. And we'll see you next year. Yeah. All right, Doug. Right, you too, Nick. See you, Nick. Don't tell Bye, anyone everybody. about Nicaragua. Don't tell anyone about Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Forever. I said it right. You guys are just making fun of me. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Careful. See ya. Right, you got to be careful too, what buddy. neighborhoods you tell I, that story. I, I heard the exact same thing you guys heard. I was like. <laughs> if Tyler tells that story in the wrong neighborhood, he's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, What'd you say? Like, no pookie, no pookie. I can't believe what this. For half a second, I was like, "Are they gonna let it go? Are they gonna?" <laughs> no, there's too many. There's too many brothers on this show right now to let it go. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. We will all one. lose. We will all lose our ghetto passes. <laughs> <laughs>
yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so, yeah, we, yeah. we handled we handled it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who's interested, and it wasn't Walter. It wasn't Walter. What? Walter I, didn't, was pure, I didn't do Walter it. Walter was time. purely innocent. <laughs> I, I heard it too. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> well, Walter, did the did the the Christmas lights get on you before or after you started drinking? Like, did you fall into the lights, oh, and that's how they got around you? Listen, I wanted to do it. I said, Peggy, let's get some Christmas lights on. She goes, Nah, you don't want to do that. And I mentioned it to Hank. He goes, do it, do it, do it. So I did it, you know, so. Yeah. Okay. So listen, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start from Babyface. We're going to go down the line. Uh, we're going to wrap it up now. Um, I, I just want everyone to give their their Christmas message, their New Year message and all that, because we're not going to see you guys until next year. So Babyface, Patrick, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, yeah, put me on the spot. Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> time with your loved ones, whatever you got going on, enjoy it. Take some time off. Go drink a beer, have a stogie. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing for Christmas, man? I am uh, heading down to Tampa to stay with my family. All right, cool. There and then uh, to see her dad, too, I think. Okay, say what's up to the family for us. <laughs> yeah, please do. So, yeah, awesome. Uh, Sam, what about you, man? Any message for the folks out there for Christmas? Yeah, um, once again, thanks for supporting Hank Strange and for supporting us and you know, I hope you all have a safe and, and good Christmas, whatever you do. Um, and just keep it real, you know. Just, uh, you know, keep supporting Hank and everybody here. And uh, have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. All right. What, do you. what are you guys doing for Christmas, man, in the New Year's? Oh, yeah. Me? Oh, yeah. Uh, just family, man. You know, we've had a really tough season. I mean, tough in a good way because it's been just so, so busy. Just can't wait until Friday where we kind of shut down everything and just take a few days off and spend it with family and, and you know, eat. I want to eat and sleep and drink. That's all I want to do. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Kevin Diximus. Diximus Maximus. Diximus. Um, well, I would like my message to everybody would be, you know, uh, stay safe for one. Make sure you have a good time. Relax. Try not to even talk about politics or anything that's heavy, you know, around this time of the year, man. Just get with your family. Enjoy. Relax yourself. Yeah, um, spend time. Um, spend time with the, the people you love, the people you care about. You know, extend grace to those that might not even deserve it. Uh, be kind to everyone you encounter. You know, hold open an extra door this year. You know, help somebody put some stuff in their car. Just, you know, put put good karma out there in the world. Just be a pleasant person and have pleasant thoughts. Um uh, enjoy, relax, you know, and, and just enjoy life. Take a moment to reflect and enjoy your life. As far as what we're doing for Christmas, um, it's going to be family, and I'm kind of on the same mission as Sam. Come Friday, I'm um, I'm stopping everything going on, uh, taking at least four days to do kind of nothing. I might even try to rock this thing called Call of Duty. Might try to figure that thing out. And, um, <laughs> just, you know. Hang out with the kids and, you know, laugh and play and get some of that QT time in with the with the, the wife and the kids and uh, go down south and see mom for a minute and, you know, take a minute to reflect on what it's all about. Awesome. Thank you. All right, Mike, MW Tactical, what's going, What's your message here, man, and uh, what are you doing for this holidays? Yeah, I just want to tell everybody to be safe. Um, don't drink and drive. Don't shoot and drive. Don't be... Don't shoot and drink. Yeah, don't shoot and <laughs> drink, especially. <laughs> um, just be safe out there. Don't do anything illegal um, to fork over money to the government when you don't have to unless you get in a suppressor or something. Um, outside of that, the uh, only thing I'm doing is I'm just taking this time. I'm going to chill with family, um, picking up my daughter this weekend, and I'm going to chill out with her for about a week or so with her um, grandmother, my mother. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Actually, I was supposed to have a phone date with um, yeah. Kevin, and hopefully everything goes right this time around. You have a phone date with <laughs> Kevin? Um, okay, yeah. that's going to be interesting. Oh, Lola's sneaking in here. Lola. Lola's sneaking oh, in. Oh, hey, Lola. The What's up? Yeah. It's a show. I, too, got a hat. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so there you go. Like but outside your of that, Christmas, that's your... Yeah, okay, awesome. Thanks. Lola. Thanks, Mike. We appreciate Lola. it. Okay, so here's Lola. Hold on a second, Walter. We'll get into you okay. so you I'm can... I'm here. Of, okay, so you got a, a, a elf hat on. There's only one thing I might point out what? that your ears have that thing that Michael Jackson has. What is that? That Michael Jackson has a. Who was that? Yeah. What was that thing Michael Jackson has where he went white? Because your ears are white. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't have time to spray it. 
Oh, it's oh, just well. a costume. Okay. Sheesh, you have to pick just, up my costume. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just being specific. Tough neighborhood. <laughs> no, mine is cuter than yours. Uh, no, I don't think so. Does yours <laughs> light up like this? No. Everything yeah. about Lola is I cuter than you. Can I press the button like I'm supposed to, but it's not, it's not oh. doing anything for me. Oh, okay, I guess I can't win with this crowd. <laughs> All right, no. do, you, do you have a Christmas message for everyone out there, Lola? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the of the house. No. Oh man. All right, Lola, woman. That's AKA enough. The Get, Get off the screen. Go away. Get off the screen, woman. Oh, you knocked your head too. Sorry about that. Uh -oh. All right, Walter. So what's going on with you? Uh, everybody, be civil to everybody. You know, even those people you run into, like your family, you don't particularly care for. Be civil. Um, be safe. Like everybody said. Don't drink and shoot. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and shoot and drive, um, <laughs> uh, which some people do. Uh, no drive-bys on the holiday season, you know. Um, but anyways, yeah, just, just just enjoy yourself and relax. Yeah, and, and forget about all this junk going on, you know, the political garbage, and just have fun. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Drink yeah. all you want to, shoot all you want to, drive but the, all you want the to, same but time. not all together. Not all yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. And don't. And one thing, you know, people get like this. Or don't cook your turkey underneath your back porch or in your shed or in your garage or, you know, don't, the turkey, don't, cook, don't cook your turkey and shoot guns and drink Jack Daniels at the same time. That's not a good, uh, not a good uh, combination. But anyways, yeah, just have fun. So. Absolutely. Um, you know, I want to echo everyone's uh, thoughts here. Lola and I, obviously, we're all taking a break. Um, we're going to still keep working. We're still going to have videos coming up. Uh, and you guys also... You know, go back and look at the uh, older videos as well as I've got about, a, actually I have exactly 100 iTunes uh, podcasts that are up right now. So you guys can go back and look at that. I'll get where, this is episode 115. We'll get all the way catched up to the, caught up to this, excuse me, during the break. The break. Now I'm like, this, this mask is affecting my face <laughs> and my lips. <laughs> so um, just remember, well, I just want to say lip. that. Yeah, just remember what you know yeah. what the holidays are all about, regardless of which one you celebrate or you don't celebrate. You know, take yeah. this time to remember family and friends, um, especially the ones that aren't with us anymore. I want everyone to know out there, all the the folks on the panel, the people who are not on the panel right now but have come on the show over these last 115 episodes. We appreciate you coming on and uh, hanging out with us and sharing your lives with the world. We we appreciate especially the folks out there who've taken. You know, we do like at least two hours every day and folks give us, you know, that big chunk of their lives and they hang out and laugh with us and have fun and get mad and all that kind of stuff. And we really appreciate it. We all promise to come back next year, even more badass and bring in even more trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So I think that's it. Does anyone else have anything else to say? Yeah. And uh well, well, in the new year, we'll talk about what happened at the shop today. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So there's a that's a little like hook to make you guys oh, come man, back. It's a cliffhanger. Yeah, it's a cliffhanger to make something, you guys come back. Something went down. Something serious. Oh, something really serious went down today in my shop, and uh, you know, um, a lot of people could look at it as life changing, but I'll, I'll tell you all in the new year. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So there you go. Okay. Um, you know, I hope everyone's safe out there. Please do be safe, and uh, we'll see you next time around. Peace out. Merry Christmas. Out. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Happy God New bless Year. you all. God bless America. <laughs> hands, hands. I just